Last time on Metroid Dread, we started our item gathering journey, but then we went and got cross bombs. We fought, I think it's called Golzuna or something like that, some big electric armored boss. And we also got power bombs finally. We had a really cool cutscene for power bombs where we got a new ability and Samus looks at her hand and she looks at the camera and she looks at her hand and she's like, what is this power overtaking me? So we don't have the full lore on that, but what we were told is it's part of our Metroid DNA. And then we went all the way up through here, this area we're in right now, which is Hanubia. And we talked to Adam, and we fought another red Chozo soldier, right? And, and Adam said, okay, you're going to go all the way up to this floating island in the sky to fight Darkbeak, Ravenbeak. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Darkwing Duck. <laughs> and that's where we left off. Today, before we progress and do all that, we are having a lovely item hunting stream. I'm gonna get as high of a percentage as I can. I'm not explicitly aiming for 100%, but I'm not not aiming for 100%. And that's where we're at. May, welcome in. Purple lightning crab. Yeah, it was a cool fight. And I do stream Sunday, but we are not streaming Dread on Sunday. We're doing a Halloween stream pretty late after the trick-or-treater hours uh, end. You know what else we're doing today? Map squares. This is the giant hallway that goes... I don't remember where this goes. Is this the one that goes up to that fight that we encountered at the very end of stream? I think so. Are these not squares that I can... do something with? I almost wanted to make this like a map square ASMR stream because I feel like it's just the most the most satisfying thing. Those don't break, but these do. Why? Oh, I forgot we have to charge this. We only have had power bombs for a little while. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I need to remember how to use them. This has got to be pretty straightforward to charge up, right? Cool. Honk, how's it going? Welcome in. Thanks for coming in from the YouTube channel. Welcome to the stream. Screw attack is too powerful. Is that what we started with the beginning of stream? Or was that two streams ago? I, I have a hard time keeping track. There are so many abilities in this game. Oop, nope. Okay, I think this room is done. Beautiful. What was up here? Elite Chozo Soldier. That's the golden one. I keep forgetting to um, update the, the one time we fought a red Chozo Soldier and I said it was elite, but that's not the case. What do you think about dread boss battles compared to other games? They're very different. Shades of Hollow Knight. And they're really fun. It took me a while to change gears and get used to the, I guess, boss fight mentality that you have to have compared to previous bosses, which are pretty much, I don't know, tank through it. Was there... Why is this room lighting up? Did we go back and investigate that? I guess we can start with Anubia. Because this is not the fighting room. Oh, 
tried to screw attack you and it didn't uh, work out for us. Cross bombs is going to be hard to get used to. That's that's going to be helpful today if we can master that. Sponge bosses. Yeah. Hey, Eclectic. Welcome in. It's just, it's just a different feeling for sure. Can we get to... Is this the room that's flashing? No, this one to the left is. And I think this door is gonna close behind us? Yeah. Oh, right. Stuff like this is very odd. So do we... Do you have to go around in a circle a bunch of times to get that one? I never cleared the whole map like this. It sounds like it would take forever. I don't know if we'll clear the whole thing, but we're gonna clear the rooms that we go through. That's the plan at least. Uh, I preferred tanky bosses, seeing a death screen again and again takes me out, being able to tank bosses, I mean, yeah, I feel that. It's, I, I really liked, um, what's a, what's another example besides Hollow, Hollow Knight? I guess <laughs> Dark Souls bosses, which is not my scene. But I, I like the, okay, we learned something, let's try again. Okay, we learned something else, let's try the fight again. I enjoy that. It's not something I'm super used to with our Metroid playthroughs. Aside from Prime, which I feel like I did have to do many, many attempts for Prime. Are those blocks gonna come back? Yeah, Hades is another example of that, for sure. Felt like I was Samus learning how to beat while fighting- beat the boss while fighting it. They were going... Uh... The amount of damage enemies do is a tad excessive. Yeah. Shine spark shenanigans. Yeah. I want to know if those blocks come back. I don't think I can, um... I'm gonna have to refill power bombs. Do they not? So are these broken forever? I don't think I'm gonna do so well with item hunting in this game. Where's the nearest hallway? So maybe from down here? Maybe we don't have to keep going around the- Oh, what were all those? They're all below. They're all, I think, more shine spark blocks underneath. Normal enemies seem generally more deadly, yeah. You could achieve that while having enemies do less damage. It would mean you get more opportunities to learn through each attempt. As it is, it's like you just have a clean attempt avoiding all attacks. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I, I have an overall pretty positive opinion of Dread. I think the hardest part for me was the controls. Getting used to the slippery switch controls and how different it is going from like Game Boy Dread or Game Boy Metroids to this was a challenge.
Oh, we don't want to charge in here. Oh, does this... So weird. It makes me think you have to go that there's a block to the right of these. Experiment Z57 killed my momentum playing dread. And see, of all the of all the fights, oops, I feel like that was the one I had the most fun with because it was so I don't know, it was really hype. And that was when my like controls were starting to click a little bit more for me. Whereas Twin Chozo Soldiers, I had not mastered anything. I could not use Flash Shift to save my life. And it took us forever. Going from two action button to ten plus action buttons is a huge step, yeah. Would like to lock aim in a particular direction, yeah. Experiment is like don't get hit by the boss, especially on hard mode. Uh, yeah, I can't speak I can't speak for hard mode. I know that's a whole different experience. Does anyone really like how that boss looks? It looks pretty cool. I feel like there's some other enemy that we've seen that looks just like it, but smaller, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, I'm so bad with the doors in this. I love the bosses, just not the am amount of damage they do with everything. Gotcha. But why would I want to... Why would I want to do all that? I feel like we're already going to have to move on. It looks like Corpius, right? That's what I thought. But somebody said it looked like something else, too. Mick, welcome in. Uh, love the gameplay. If you master the moves, you can fly around the map. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm done with Anubia for now, because I don't know what to do with that one room. If we want to get map squares in here, we can do that later. There's, like, a whole other room here? Maybe? Weird. Oh, does it look like Oh, is it that critter there um that creature they're like experimenting on in Dyron? Oh, that's so scary. Grew up with fusion, so I don't mind bosses doing big damage to make them more menacing. Yeah. I love the Choba Chozo robots and soldiers. I almost said Chobots. Um, especially once you get storm missiles, just keep running and locking missiles. The one getting the massage, yeah. You go back to that room, it isn't lying there anymore. Dang, weird. But also cool detail. Alright, here we are. Gavaran. Where do we want to start? I can't remember what this is, but it looks like there's four flashy rooms. So let's go do those. Let's chart a course. Let's pick the first one we want to try, and then we'll like decide our routing to get there. Because routing in this game is a whole thing. 
It's a it's it's a challenge with all the one way doors. Notch. Hello. Hi friends, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, how was Animal Crossing? Thanks for coming in. Happy Friday. Happy Hollow Weekend. Cheers. Da -da. It's good to have you here. Thank you for the shout out for Notch. Muppet, hi. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Jen the Human. We are having a chill wine and Metroidvania night. I've been playing through the whole Metroid series. Well, not the whole thing. A lot of the Metroid series catching up and getting ready for Dread. And today we're basking in the exploration of a giant map and having a good time. Thank you for coming over. Um, go check out Notch. Send, send the love, send the human support. It's a difference in preferences. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. The only thing I yes. don't really yes. like is the mini bosses yes. are so repetitive. Yeah, I feel that. It's end game item hunt, pretty much. We're gonna backtrack and collect as many power ups as we can. And thank you for that follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Raiders, I appreciate you. Notch, I appreciate you so much. If you need to eat, or relax or stretch or turn off your brain after a stream, I totally understand. Um, but you're in good hands. If you want to stay and, and chill here, we're going to keep it as relaxed as possible in a Metroid game, if you can believe it. I think, I don't think I can go back up through this tunnel, right? Because these are, they call them pitfall blocks. Those are crumble blocks. We can... Yeah, no, I don't think we can go back that way. So I think we have to go down here. All the way through this water. Down here. And then over into this big room. That's my plan. Oh, but this will be quick because we have screw attack now. Item cleanup is super relaxing. Mm-hmm. I agree. These enemies, I need to remember that the only best way to fight them is with screw attack. So it seems. That's very satisfying as well. Are we missing any squares in here? Yeah, all of these ones above the water. Okay, good. After Metroid 2, nothing is repetitive. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> I wonder which ability the X-Core that fell into the lava would have given you. That's a that's a good thought. That's an interesting thought. Oh, how do we... We know how to do this now. Nice. Do we want to go to the right? I think so. Oh, why is this, uh... What? Where are the... This is so sneaky. Where are the targets for this green door? Is it only from the other side? What? Dear Pitfall Block, you will always be Crumble Blocks in my mind. Yep. Item cleanup is the ultimate cozy experience. Now we can explore the planet unencumbered. I'm very... Yeah, it's, it's probably my favorite part about Metroids. I like exploring. My favorite parts, I think, are th this, the exploring, and then when you're first going through the game and you see a door or a block or a trap or a puzzle and you're like, oh, oh, this game has grapple. I'm going to need that. I'm going to use it and come back here later with it. And having that, like, using your brain to kind of anticipate and guess what's coming up next. Can we... I wonder if it was something over here. Alright, hang on. I need to I need to do power bomb. That's what I need. Could you imagine Samus with four arms? Wait, how did that come up? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, just double check, even for item hunt, your preference is no hint. Yeah, keep in mind, um, I'm gonna ask a lot of questions, but if I don't know something about the game yet, this is not the opportunity to, like, teach me everything that there is to know about the game. Um, all questions are still rhetorical. It'll be a, a little more relaxed than usual because, you know, we're in, I guess, endgame. Oops. But, uh, do keep that in mind. If you're new and you don't know the drill here, I'm pretty picky about what I consider... It's not even spoiler, hint, or help. Um, because I just want to do it all on my own, so. Thanks for understanding, and thank you mods for making it possible. Imagine her with Chozo wings, that'd be cool. Stone shell crabby friend who we destroyed. I kind of want to go up here and look at this from the other side. Is that going to lock me out in some way? Yeah, because this door is one way but we could do a loop and come back through here let's go do that let's get these squares what do we think about story developments what do we think about story developments how well do i even know this story oh dear i feel like uh, I could stand maybe at the end of stream, here it is, to do like a nice recap because I don't know if I have all the, the pieces to the puzzle. Cool. Okay, do we want to go up here and get these squares? Oh, but then I think this gets blocked because there's screw tack. So maybe let's not do that right now because then we would have to go do a whole nother loop through here. Oh, we missed these. Oh, but we're coming back to this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The important thing. Hate the boss with a passion? Oh no! Yeah, Spider Samus in this game. I do like, um, Spider Magnet. Did we get this tram area? Yes. Oh, I see. Does this- this doesn't have a thing, does it? No. Well, we are going the long way. I think it was worth it. If you don't get those squares, who else will? I know! Like I said, I'm not- I'm not set on every single room, but if we're coming through here anyway, wouldn't it be cool to be able to do that? For the whole game? Hmm? Maybe? Mixed opinions? Mom, hi, welcome in. Happy Friday. Massive hitbox, it takes up most of the room. Cramp crew me fight in bullet hell attack. Skullzuna was not fun for me. Gotcha, eclectic. Quick wine break, because we got missiles. Alright, uh, we're going down here, yeah? Whee! If you just, like, jump back and forth a bunch of times with this enemy, do they do a- Do they keep going in circles? No, they still attack. Spin! Spin! Oh wait, they do! Mm -hmm. 
You can make him dizzy. <laughs> I don't see map completion becoming a category in speedruns. No. Absolutely not. Dancing with the aliens. Oh, they're so nice. They did a little dance with us. This is off to an excellent start. I am very happy with how this is going. Look at all the squares. Oh. Oh, I think we have to freeze these platforms? Oh, not that one. Yeah. Oh, and we have to do a missile block. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, but that gives us more energy. That's four of four. Yes. Worth it. Let's scan this room. What is this red thing? Is this anything? Maybe it was... No, it's not an M event. Definitely worth the effort, yeah. We never finished, um... Destroying these... Fire flowers. How do you even optimize map completion? You have to literally be every part of the map. I know, don't some people do the 100% map category in Super, though? And it's one of those things- well... There's not very many rooms in Super that you have to have Space Jump to clear though, right? Maybe there is. I don't remember. It's a tedious category. 100% completed the game. I didn't know you could freeze those. Nice! Learned something new. Hey, Pobo. Super was a lot more generous with how the map filled out, yeah. Very different, uh, feel to it. We didn't get these squares below us. It's gonna be weird going back to not having respin. I'm very spoiled with respin in this game. So what's our next objective? Oh, right here. Let's go down there. Yeah, this is so dangerous, because I'm like, oh, well, when are when am I ever going to be back in this hallway? I should go up here and clear it real, real quick. And then, and then we'll continue. Let's do it. That's what today is for. We're not necessarily going to that room, but we're nearby. It's connected to this room. Wall jumping is a thing in... Super Metroid, it solves a lot of problems. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why I said, like, rooms that you have to have space jump for, even with wall jump. But yeah, it helps. It helps because you have it right away, early on from the beginning, to fill rooms with no items. I get that. Do we have any squares in here? Two? I don't want to do that maze. That's a pain. That I'll come back for someday. Opting for more realism with map filling. Yeah. I feel conflicted about many map square fill out for the game. While I like how it gives you a neat exploration trail, the temptation to scrub the map to fill out is overwhelming. It's like... What's a good comparison? I don't know, this is the type of thing I like in some games. Where... Like when we played Breath of the Wild, I was more interested in getting all of the armor upgrades than I was in completing the game on time, I guess, or like quickly. But Breath of the Wild, completely different category, completely different game, I know. It's just one of those things that's things that's like a side quest that you latch on to that's fun to go through. When we played Mar Super Mario Odyssey, same thing. I was like, let's get all of the different outfits for Mario until 
I realized how many coins that takes, and it was kind of excessive. Do you upgrade every armor to four stars? I did all of the base game non-DLC armor. I think we got there. The hardest thing was, um... Oh, what are the dragon names? What's the fire dragon's name? I, I had a lot of trouble spawning that particular dragon. The other two are very reliable. You, you know, s sleep at a fire and they come back the same path. But that one, I feel like I was always under its path and it wouldn't spawn for me. So there's stuff where you had to camp and like farm a million dragon pieces. They knew some people would obsessively complete the map. I started hard mode a week ago, died to a boss door. Oh my gosh, yeah. They do a lot of um, a lot of damage. Counter can be tricky for boss doors, and again, not a big margin of error. Yeah. So, it's the room we're in. I didn't get a scan on anything. Oh, it could also be to the right or here. How do we get there? Oh, long way around. Okay, so I think we're gonna go up this way. Let's fill these two rooms first. The dragons were so majestic. I love the dragons in Breath of the Wild, yeah. They're stunning. Oh, I remember these enemies. Hmm. Speed boost blocks. The DLC armors can't be upgraded. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Brilliant piece of game design. Those dragons, even if they essentially become another resource to farm. Yeah. Just, oh, the, it was the coolest thing seeing one of them for the first time. And hearing that music that comes with them. So enchanting. And I didn't know that I would get, be able to get item, like, pieces from it. Right? You just think, oh, they're they're cool. Sometimes they attack you uh, if you get too close and you get to admire them from afar. But no. I wish I could fight Z57 again without having to play the whole game up to the point. Yeah. Also did every little thing in Breath of the Wild for the love of God. I can't find the final Korok. Oh no. Talk about map squares and, like, having people, completionist people, who have to get all the Koroks. And the map completion for Breath of the Wild is really intense. Here, I'm gonna try to remember Flash Shift more. Giardino, how's it going? Wish they had sort of radar that pointed you in the right way once you got 750. Yeah. Glad I didn't have to fight or kill the dragons. I know, they're too pretty. So where can I... I can charge this from in here, right? If I charge this... and jump from up here, we should be good? The Shine Spark puzzles are really different in this. Oh, but I'm gonna have to do it from... How far away can I open this from? Pretty far. Will this stay dead if we collect the X parasite? Let's try. Kaiser, welcome in. How's it going? Oh, I didn't press the button proper. Okay. Oh, the timing on that. 
They give you this nice little white square on the floor that tells you... I don't know how you're supposed to charge that before you... If I grab it from here... Can I back up and then run? Yeah. Oh, but it's the worst and weirdest. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to freeze that monster? Or maybe diagonal spark? You hold a charge for a pretty long time. Uh, Scott, welcome to the chat. I'm not looking for advice or tips or anything right now, but um, if you wanna hang out and watch and, and, and watch the struggle while I try to figure it out on my own, That'd be really cool. Oh. Oh, it hit. You can't just. Yeah, that's a giant enemy gen. It's not gonna take just one ice missile to kill it or to freeze it. The struggle is real. Yeah, exactly. Um, but welcome in. How'd you find us? okay. We're good. Thank you, mods. Uh... I think we've got the door now, but we can't seem to figure out... I don't know if the spark itself is the... is the tricky part. Can we diagonal spark? I don't think I've done one yet. It's weird with analog. You can't just like screw attack into this, right? You don't it doesn't hold the charge long enough to go across the room. I don't think so. Uh Mikhair, hi, welcome in. I have not beaten the game yet. This is our pre-end game item hunting and chill. <laughs> so, cheers. Da -da. I think this Shine Spark puzzle is the perfect one to start. Not too easy, not too difficult. Ooh, good. I like that. It feels more accessible than some of the other ones we've seen so far. Where I was like, um... Oh, we can diagonal, but you have to be... Like, down here? I don't know if I can make it that far across the room. Alright, I want to try something. Keiko, hi, welcome in. Love this. Some of the Shine Spark puzzles. Some are crazy difficult but fun. The best term I've heard is the backtracking. Yes. <laughs> A lot of harder ones have the but how feeling. Yes, I know the feeling all too well. So, uh, that's what I was afraid of. Spark goes on the jump button. Not like super and everything else where you jump and then arrow. Yin, how's it going? The best part is all of them have at least three solutions or more. I do like that, yeah. Always see something new when someone solves it on their own. I love, I, exactly, you get it. I wonder if this is like 
Okay, wait, let's test something else. Here, let's say goodbye to these enemies really quick. It's probably specific to Playframe, but there's usually one to two episodes that get that title so you know what the episode's content is all about. Nice. Speed Booster is so versatile, yeah. I wanna... That's not what I wanted to do. Here. Spider Samus. Shine Spark is broken for a lot of bosses. Nice. We want to do... Because we can break... I always forget they're not Shine Spark blocks. They're Speed Booster blocks. I run into this all the time. Because usually you see Speed Booster blocks and you think, Ooh, Shiny Shine Spark puzzle. Okay, cool. Yay! A boss rush mode would be cool for this game. It would. I wish this game had the Hall of what the like Hall of Champions pantheons uh, for the boss fights. You can use it just like super only, but that's the hardest, often the hardest approach. I'm thankful for Shine Spark. It doesn't drain, yeah, I know, it doesn't drain your life, your energy, exactly. Thank you for the follow, Scott. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Alright. That looked so pro. It felt good to get the item. Onward. Uh, we were gonna go through here to this area. There was something else I wanted to do too, but I have since maybe forgotten. Yeah. I missed it. How did you solve it? I remembered... Well, so I thought, oh, maybe we have to go in that room and do a diagonal shine spark, but then I remembered the uh, there's a couple puzzles like that. I think Zero Mission has one where you have to go across all of the new, like, Turian after fighting Mother Brain. I remembered that one. Speed Booster Space Jump, yeah. Shine Spark Resource Management is a huge part of Super. Yeah, for speedrunning. Yes, definitely. I think Super is the only one that drains your energy, right? With the Shine Spark? Yeah. Didn't know you could even do that. I learned it from another Metroid. Isn't that a cool feeling? <laughs> There'll be a final test after all of the game. After I finish all the games. What's the final test? AM2R? I did this completely different. Came in from the left, charge speed boost. Throughout the yellow save room and then a diagonal shine spark. That's really cool. While I can see shine spark costing energy being interesting for speedrun, I feel like it's an enormous hit to playfulness exploration. Yeah. Metroid knowledge transcend generations. I think that's mods in in case you were wondering. I think that's totally fine to do like your people's solutions after we get the item. I'm totally cool with that. Not that it was in question at all, but um if you want to share another way to get it after I get it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks. Or not. Or we can keep talking about <laughs> Breath of the Wild Dragons, which has nothing to do with Metroid. Or we could talk about our Friday plans, Saturday plans, all the things. Final test is Nestroid. I gotta study up then, because we're doing that pretty soon. And we're doing Justin Bailey cosplay to go with it. Either the finale of uh, Dread or the Nestroid stream, we will be in Justin Bailey cosplay. <laughs> Did with a horizontal spark from above the right door of the room. Oh, smart. I don't think I actually... Oh, yeah. We're going down this way, though. Let's 
Dressing up as Justin Bailey. I'm dressing as Samus as Justin Bailey. We still, we still, there is not confirmation after all these years, all these decades later, who is Justin Bailey? Get, getting the grid paper ready. So this is a, um, this was our charity goal that we met. We raised over $500 for Able Gamers last weekend. So I am doing a full on Nestroid stream and uh, we're gonna see how, how far we get. Probably just a coincidence, yeah. Plan is to keep working on Doom 2 mod every day, but every day I'm too lazy. Nest trade's fun, I haven't tried without a map. Oh, we're gonna have, we're gonna draw a map and then if we need to use one, we will. I don't want it to be painful. And it's already a little bit painfulness built right in with the, with the 30 health respawn. Nest trade stream's more fitting. I think so too. I was gonna do it for this finale, but I think, um, man, I need like a cool, Dread, uh, gravity suit hoodie. Now, I need a I need a dread outfit. Why have we never been down this way before? Also, worth it for the squares. You played Axiom Verge, right? Did you know Justin Bailey code works in that game? Yeah, I I did know that. I haven't had a chance to do it, but uh, I have seen screenshots of it. Oh, nice. I feel like this is gonna be a oops point of no return. Wait, this takes us down into a whole giant room. Okay. Dread has some pretty cool breaks. Both intended and unintended. Nestroid's fun. It can be hard to start, but it's unintended. It's intentional. Practice makes it more tolerable. Mm -hmm. I think we can do it. Dressing up as Chris Houlihan for Link to the Past playthrough. Same energy as Justin Bailey. Yeah. Houlihan room. It's a coincidence. Justin Bailey was easy to remember. Share password. So the, it's the one that proliferated. Yep. Narpa sword works. Uh, makes me think it's a series of debugging tools. Justin's just a human re readable accident. Hi Fenris. Welcome in. It's purely cosmetic. Trace wears a skin tight suit that's colored after the current coat you have on. Good stuff. Oh, there's like a whole one of these things down here. This is a silly room to go to after you get space jump. Don't mind me, just staring at the mini-map. Do, do we... Do crumble blocks count for squares of the map? They do, they look different after you fall through them. Oh no. This is bad. Hold on, there's one crumble block I didn't fall through. Chris Pratt cosplay when Mario comes out? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Did it the hard way took forever? Yeah, the dang grapple is so... I don't know. It's not my fave. Chaining multiple grapples together is not my fave. Grapple has to be terrible in any game. Yeah, it's tradition. Wish they'd expanded pull skin to cover all missing blocks on the map. Yeah. Would it be okay to provide a sanity preservation hint on mapping crumble blocks? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine, Austin. I'm totally cool with that. I like sanity preservation. Oh, because I was trying to get back to this room? Is that why we came all the way through there? Yeah. I think revealing them with explosive. Okay, good. Perfect. Any grapple that auto aims is pretty good. Flint hook has an excellent grapple. Cool. Uh, this is where- oh no, can I not get up there? This, like, fell through. Oh, do not like. Not sure how many rooms it apply to, but I could see falling through each and every one. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. And it was like, because I fell through one, I had to fall through them all. Which is flawed. Sekiro has a fun grapple now that I think about it. Mm. That's cool. We're at 86% in, in Gavarin. That's pretty good. Did we get all the flashy rooms? We did. So everything else is either in plain sight or like this. This looks like we missed a whole chunk of the map or something in here even. Where it's not going to flash if you've not even got close enough to form one of the walls of the room. Do we want to go back up there? Do we think we should pull skin here? I don't think so. And I can't- I can't go back up through this way. Hmm. Where does this elevator go? Oh, Berenia. Okay. No Emmys left. We got all the Emmys. Supposedly. Although, one could pop up. Two out of ten game <laughs> crumble block mechanics not refined enough. No. <laughs> grapple and prime works fine enough. The bad thing is you fall off after a few seconds of grabbing a grapple point. I had some moments of utter frustration with um with uh the grapple and prime. I struggled. But I just struggled with so much of prime anyway, so what can you do? It wasn't my game. Really fun. But some things that I couldn't, I couldn't get used to, even after one of the longer games too. Like compared to our, uh, what Fusion was pretty quick for us. Metroid Two was pretty quick for us. But Prime was definitely longer. Okay. Let's go up here. There's a breakable block below us. These are bombs, so we can get back through if we fall, but let's go do this first. 
Uh, may I recommend exploring a UI feature for today's hunt? It would be significant. Sure. I see the map, like the item percentage and Emmys. I know that we have the, um, this thing too. How do I activate it? The thing that highlights icons. How do I do that? This? Do the rooms still flash? If I do that? Okay, cool. Mechanic stuff, that's- that's fine. For today. Uh, highlight feature is very strong. Okay. Some time ago I wanted to make a big video about Prime 1 where I played through hard mode without picking up any items. I was almost at the Omega Pirate and I lost all my video files. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's such an undertaking. Have we talked about the controversy with Mercury Steam? No, we have not. Uh, and I don't know what kind of territory that is. Do we want to get into that? Does having the highlight thing help you all see better? Does that- is that good for, um... Oh. It highlights the doors? So if I do, like... Energy part, it'll highlight energy parts. If I do... Item spheres, it'll do item spheres. If I do... here, miss- excuse me? Missiles, it'll do missiles. If it helps you, I don't know if I, I don't know, feel any better with it or without it. We'll talk about it makes me a little mad, yeah. Yeah, maybe in the Discord channel. I don't know if I want to get into it right now, but sounds like I have some catching up to do for sure. It's worth talking about at some point. It's industry-wide problems. It still isn't okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely worth talking about. Bobbers, hi, welcome to the chat. Um, yeah, we want to go down here. And dude, hi. Yes, Welcome in. Yes, yes, yes. Happy Friday. Oh, it's below us. It's right here. Crumble block. And then this was what we were looking for, because it looks like there's another area of the map to go to. Uh, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in bit of a dodgy loaded gun subject. Yeah. I'm- I- I guess I don't want to go into it without knowing a little more context ahead of time, because I don't know what exactly we'd be getting into, and I don't know if I feel prepared for that right now. But... Definitely, uh... Something I need to... To look into, to research, like I said. Ever since then, I kind of gave up on video streaming projects. It was a lot of fun. I almost played through every single Metroid game without any pickups, but Prime games, I could never beat the final parts. That's impressive. It's a shame because it mars an otherwise brilliant game. Yeah. Everything I hear about bigger gaming industry makes it seem like making games is a nightmare, and it mostly is. Ah, I don't know, um, like, I don't, I don't want that to be the overall picture of taking, take away from the gaming industry altogether. I think it, it's so difficult to have, like, a small studio and make it and have everything ethically under your control and have your vision and your people and everything like settled and to make it in the world and to get the combination of like luck and skill and a game that's a hit and to make enough money to make a living where if you're a game developer and you're trying to get hired and get a job and make money you're gonna go work for a bigger company but the bigger companies get it's the same as any other industry like the less control you have over each and every individual aspect of that company and the the greater chance you have that something goes out of hand, something goes overlooked, that the ethics slip. 
discourages me. Oh, I read that. It shouldn't be, but it's definitely something the industry is struggling with. Yeah. Menindi Devon, I can tell you, it is difficult, but so worth it. Um, Bobbers, I think the best way to do that is my, my business email. It's linked in my, um, like, the About Me description on Twitch. It's in my link tree and that sort of thing. If you want to talk about game studio stuff, um, Twitch Whispers isn't really the most effective way to do that. But, but welcome in. That's really cool. Glad to have you here to discuss. Anything B2C is harder than B2B. What does that mean? 93%. That jumped up quite a bit with that one item. We want to look at this room now, I think. And then maybe end here. Because we've never taken that elevator before. Hmm. Unless, is that the... No, yeah, we've never taken this. Okay, cool. Let's go do the up here and then and finish off at this bottom corner. Business to consumer, business to business. Gotcha. Okay, I am not familiar with those. That makes total sense. Have to remember social media can blow things out of proportion. Yes, also very challenging. Uh, item squares, map squares, TT. Happy birthday, I mean Friday. Thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you, TT. Happy Halloween weekend. I hope you're having a good one. Uh, it was really fun watching you finish. Outer Wilds the other night. Very cool. Dropping in to say feel bad for the huge amount of... Oh, I need to scroll up. Game production majors at my school. So many programming majors switch to another major and it's a challenging industry from what I hear. Yeah. You're telling me social media isn't a perfect representation of, representation of reality. Okay. Um, Space Platypus, welcome to the chat. Thanks for, for putting in your perspective on it too. It's a bummer people are having to feel like they have to switch majors and switch gears. All the horror stories can color the perception of an industry when they keep popping up. Yeah. Glad to be here. Do you have any cool Halloween plans, TT? You doing anything fun? Uh, hopefully to assuage concerns. The controversy is minor, a matter of relatively common practice policy. I don't think it's so much something particular about Mercury Steam as a discussion for games industry practice as a, as a whole. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, we're already in it too, so we're, we kind of jumped in anyway, which is totally fine. I just didn't know if it was like... Um... I don't know. We're flexible. Yes. 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 Gotta leave because of work. I'll be sending you an email. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bobbers. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. So that... This... This wasn't anything right here. That's okay. Do we want to go do this corner too? What's this square right here? Anything? I don't think so. Too much map. I should have got that when I went through the other door. This is also kind of a confusing area. I don't want to stick to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's minor to not credit someone for their work. 
with respects to, say, revelations about Blizzard. Yeah, so it's not minor, but as far as stream-related, like, sensitive things, I don't want to get into any super content warning heavy topics, if that makes sense. Um, it sort of opens a different thing that I have to consider when we're having, like, heavy conversations like that. Supposed to head to a friend's for Halloween party tonight, but it's a couple hours away. Ooh, and you have new costume? Quick chat. <laughs> costume ideas. Time to brainstorm things we can put together quickly and that are still clever and impressive. Most ex examples look more fav- well, true. Look in comparison to Ubisoft and Blizzard, yeah. Wanted to say it's an important discussion for people to be having, but not something dire or hidden about Mercury Steam in particular. Yeah. Hi, Leon. <laughs> All those waves. It's good to see you. Hi. As a non-US person, I've never understood major concept over here. I got out of school and went to study law in university. How does it work? Oh, interesting. Um, gosh. <laughs> How does it even work? <laughs> Oh no, crumble block! No! I was paying attention to the squares! How much of a pain is that gonna be? A big pain. Oh no, it's fine. Was it just this one that we didn't do yet? Yeah. Do we need this? No. I don't know why we do it the way we do it, but it's like your focus area when you're in university. And and that's it. Not everybody does it, cause cause the, like if you're going to grad school, or you're gonna have a follow on, you would think, oh, for for like my first four years of university, I don't need to specialize, and I'll get my specialized stuff afterwards. But you do a focus, yeah. I'm gonna head out, but have an awesome rest of the stream. Thanks, Eclectic. Have a good rest of your weekend. Cheers, friend. We'll see you around. Heavy conversations. All right, bros and brodets. How many giraffes can you bench with one hand? Ta, please. <laughs> Ta, your pumpkin carving is coming out so good. No, it's done. That, was that the finished one? It looks amazing. I've seen a couple, like, progress pictures. Formal apology and wear fancy clothes and sign that says sorry. I like it, Amariah. Yeah. Majoring in a subject means you take general education classes like everyone else, but then you take classes specific to the field. Yeah. Another one I saw was a green shirt with angel wings says you're holy guacamole. <laughs> Steal away! I went from high school through college and suddenly became a plumber, so I have no idea how it works here. Nice. Well, this didn't pan out. This little square here. So, I'm out of ideas. It's... I think I already scanned this whole room, right? Yeah. Um... Do we think there's something, like, here? It doesn't look like it. I like saying I'll be a family law lawyer or something like that. I'm gonna brighten some things and fix some details. Cool. It's done. I have more I want to do. Gotcha. No, because I don't think you decide what type of lawyer you're gonna be until law school. It's just another intermediate step between general education in uni classes in university and not quite grad school level classes in grad school, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. It almost looked like there were squares up top there, but 
I have to- if I'm gonna scan, I gotta focus on the scan. If I'm gonna do squares, I gotta focus on the squares. Oops, go back. College was definitely weird. I don't know if it's something I would go back to. <laughs> yeah. I'm a criminal justice major and honestly have no clue what I'm doing after college. I want to be a crime scene investigator, but you need a lot of chemistry for that. And I suck at chemistry. Sounds cool. Definitely chemistry involved. Yeah. You don't go to law school right away. No. Yeah, it's different. That's just how the US does it, but... Who knows if it's... <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. If I go through here, this is a crumble block. Do we care about these rooms? This doesn't look like there's an item. Maybe here? I feel like I have a quality of life question. Because this helped me one time and I'm already latching onto it. Oh, this looks weird here. These, these squares, right? This is blue and it's like gridded out here. But this is not blue. This is gray. So does this mean there's not anything in this... In this gray? Does that make sense? I'm just trying to read the map better. Yeah, safe word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. Welcome in. Uh... I've arrived neither too early nor late, but precisely when I meant to. Magus, hello. Good on you for asking. Thank you, thank you. Outer edges are what you think they are. Okay, perfect. We're, we're confirming an assumption. I want to maybe go back down here then and not bother with this upper area anymore cuz I don't I don't want to go through there just to fill squares if I don't think there's going to be an item. And we're at 9 yeah, 93. So I think we've got one left. Cuz the last one brought us up 7%, right? From 86 to 93. My memories of college, uni, if you will, are mostly watching 9-11 happen in New York State, never finishing a course related to my major due to GAD-related issues, fun times. Ugh. Rough. Not... Not one of those, oh yeah, I want to relive college, it was so fun situations. Like, no. No thank you, once was plenty. Okay, I was hoping this area would have something. But, this is all... I was hoping this wall had some secret. It does not. The darker ones don't have anything. Apple Avocado, welcome in. Just won my works pumpkin contest, congrats! Oh heck yeah! $75 Amazon gift card. Spend it wisely. Jen giving into the safe word. It's, it's, it's an important quality of life quality of stream. GG's. What about down here? I thought we'd look down here. One of these holds the key. In the meantime, map squares, and discussions, and good friends. I've never carved a pumpkin like that, Ta. But it definitely gets piques my interest. I don't think I would ever be able to do something that detailed, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Has anybody else made a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern like that, where you do like the depth carving and some of it shines light light shines through more and some of it less? They look really complex. My university experience was really poor. I'm sorry, alien. 
I'm sorry, Fenris, too, that that was your overall, like, impressions of university. Digging around more about Justin Bailey, that suit is a normal non-password based feature. I'm not sure if I should say how, which removes uh, there being any special code. It's just a normal password. Hmm. Depth carvings, yeah. Uh, Sugar, hi, welcome in. And Jerry X, thank you for redeeming human kindness. Kindness for poor college experiences. Aw, sending human kindness from me to you to chat. For anybody that went through a, a college experience, a university experience that was subpar, that was distressing, that was stressful and rough and not ideal, um, I th I, I'm, I'm glad you don't have to do it again, and I'm glad that we're here hanging out, moving on with our lives. Uh... But seriously, it's good to have you in the community, and I appreciate you sending all the good energy and chill vibes for the weekend. Thanks, Jerry X. Picking a good design is important, yeah. Well, thank you for the hydrate, too. I'm just gonna do wine hydrate for now. <laughs> But I have seltzer too. I miss college days. My friends and I were playing Smash Brothers 60% of the time. Nice. Never carved a pumpkin myself, but growing up we didn't have any pumpkins like y'all do here. Oh, gotcha. College was alright, but it got bought by ITT after I graduated and they went bankrupt. The campus is there. Bought by a business in Hong Kong. Interesting. Um, I can't... No, I can go down this way because of this. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Can I... I can't get to this room. We went over here, though, right? And we scanned this. I'm pretty confident that we scanned it. I know we were in that room. Being in the room isn't the same thing as scanning, though. Is this a missile up here that we don't have? Oh. Nice. 100% of Gavarant. Yes. Woohoo. Hydrate with alcohol. Yeah. No, I will drink seltzer, too. Don't you worry. I'm sipping pretty slowly. It's a great bit of Metroid lore culture and honestly makes it all the more amazing that someone figured out a password that was shared around. Yeah. Pro tip, don't go to university while you're depressed. Don't make life-altering decisions while you're mentally unstable. No, it's okay. It's okay, alien. You're good. Um, we can move on from there, but like, I, I feel for you. School itself wasn't that bad. Pretty nice. Just socio-political events in my own brain chemistry. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not easy to have to do that. Never make any life-altering decisions. Got it, Angel Lord. Oh, thanks for the GG. Send me welcome in. Thanks for the Metroids. It is already wine o'clock. It's kind of the the vibe for the day. <laughs> Chill item hunting and wine. And look, we're right where we want to be. Because this is where I said we were going to exit. Oh, this is working out so well. Is this a... Are there any one-way doors down here? No. No. Wee. I'm assuming we don't need to keep scanning once we hit 100%. Unless we really want to. Oh, I remember... Is this gonna be a crumble? No, just this weird room. Okay.
Might go buy some, yeah. It's a tough game, so if you're willing to grind it, add it, then get it. But otherwise, I'd start with other platformers to improve. Oh, wait, I missed it. <laughs> I might get this game tomorrow as a birthday present to myself. Would you guys recommend it? They just announced a demo for this, right? I would play the demo. What was that tweet that went out that, that had... Uh, that was talking about Dread from Nintendo, which they never do demos of stuff like this. I've tried Zero Mission. I'm bad at platformers. I'm willing to learn. I think this is a good one to start with. I think Zero Mission's a good one to start with. Um, but if you're more used to modern games and Zero Mission was hard because it's a little bit older, then Dread is going to be awesome for you. And Taylor, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Cheers. Happy Friday. Da -da. Check for demo. Yeah. This is the first cleared area. This is our first 100% area. Mm hmm. Best part about living in New England, have apple cider that was pressed in last week. Oh, yes. New England apple cider so good. <laughs> Ta, no. <laughs> um, they're pushing the game hard, which is awesome. I hope new, new fans find it. Yeah. Custom emotes for 100% of Gavron. Thank you. Thank you. Super Metroid, best Metroid, don't at me. I'm right because I say so, not biased. I feel like Super is a is uh, is such a good first Metroid, but it can be a hard sell if somebody is not at all interested in retro games and or older floaty controls, because. I don't know. Some people pick it up in the first couple minutes. They're like, oh, this feels terrible. I can't, I can't, I can't sell it if it's like a really uncomfortable experience and you're just like, no, I want something newer. That's totally fair. I happen to love it a whole lot, but. Uh, Chris, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Sure, we'll scan the elevator room just for fun. Now, where is this going to take us? Somewhere we've already been, I think. Yeah. It's just another connection. Let's go to Dairon. Dairon can be next. One good control scheme on Super and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Tunes, welcome in. Hello, hello. Doing pretty good, Chris. Having a chill Friday. Enjoying Dread. How are you? How'd you find us? I was confused on Super that it led me to your YouTube, which led me to here, which is my first Twitch stream. Heck yes. Welcome. Um, did you get stuck in a certain area? Because I definitely did too. In a couple places. It was the, jo the genre defining game. Yeah. It's your least favorite. Uh, it's fair. I guess it's okay. I'd argue Super is the most important Metroid. That's where it all started. Huge fan of Metroid, but I've never played Dread. It's uh, it's pretty dang good. This is like a whole... Oh, we never came back to this cold area. And there's an item down here. Okay, good place to start then. And there's a health refill. Did any of you all... I, I really did not experiment with this at all. But when you encountered the cold rooms for the first time, did you see how far and how long you could run through them before you died? I don't know how, how quickly it drains your health. Aw, oh, crumble blocks. You played Super Infusion? Nice. I like both of those a whole lot. Yeah, the explosives worked for the crumble blocks. Now we know. Oh, we already scanned. I was willing to dip my toes into damaging rooms, yeah. Oh boy, did I get stuck. I was trying to preserve 
Oh, conserve power bombs. Yeah. The bias, the bar is high. Yep. We do have a Discord server. Yes. If one of the mods could do the uh, the Discord command, if you'd like to join us, hang out when we're not streaming, and. Uh, I just, oh my gosh, this was my one announcement of the day and I completely forgot. We just added a Star Trek channel to the Discord because I've been watching and catching up and like watching all of TNG for the first time and trying to learn all the things and I need more friends to talk about it with and I posted a, I, I tweeted at like 2 a.m. the other night because I finished watching Star Trek First Contact for the first time and I needed to share things so we need to vote on the keep voting on the name it's tied right now it's tied between calling the channel Final Frontier or Enterprise vote now in the discord <laughs> someone who's never played a Metroid I think the best is Metro Exodus <laughs> nice <laughs> I forgot it was a mod command. Oh, it's a, it's fine, alien. No worries. I did a few times, but notice the damage gets increasingly bigger the longer you stay inside. Hmm, interesting. I intentionally run into them to add the rooms to the map, but wanted to save my health. Fair. I remember watching first contact in theaters. It was it was great. I loved it. It was cringy when uh, we had interactions with the queen. Uh, she was a lot to process. Like, her first entrance, the board queen. Spoilers for Star Trek. I don't... I, it's been around for a while. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to approach spoilers, because I'm still trying not to get spoiled on things, but like... There's only so long I so so much and so long I can hold off on those on all the knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Gonna join now? Of course. Yeah, that's fine. Um we're glad to have you. And uh we'll get you your roles and such so that you can chat. Glad I found more Star Trek fans. I'm so late on the uptake. I never watched it as a kid. Just finished the voyage home in Final Frontier. Nice. Clearly only one right name for a Star Trek channel. <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. My costume came in. It's a TNG Starfleet Command blouse. And uh, I'm super excited about it. Is that your Discord display name? That's fine. Um, if you want it changed, oh dark. sugar, thank you. That is why we must find the light. I appreciate it. Thank you for those five gifted subs to the community. Everyone who got a sub from Sugar, enjoy your Earth badge, your emotes, your ad-free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Enjoy the sub-only channel. Enjoy all the perks that come with being a part of the human race. Thank you, sugar. Uh, now that you're in this room, can I tell a semi-easter egg not about items or anything? Thank you for asking first. Uh, spoilers are context sensitive. If it's movie night, then even an ancient movie can be no spoilers. True! That's a good point, Austin. Yeah, I'm down for an easter egg. Is it something I can see just by exploring the room? Should I look for it first? Season 1 of TNG signed by Riker, Data, Troy, Crush Crusher, and Yar. I met them at a comic con. Oh, so jealous. That's awesome, Povo. Y'all enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Eris, welcome in. <laughs> um, okay, Easter egg. Easter egg hunt. And thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. It's something in the background. You're supposed to see it earlier in the game. This is a big room, but let me look a little bit. Or is it gone now because I'm supposed to see it. This giant tank? It's frozen so I can't like really see what's in there. There was a section of the map that we saw 
I'm guessing these are speed boosts, yeah. That looked like it had Dragon looking things in it at one point. When it's not frozen. Was that was that here? I remember talking about it, but I don't know if it was here. And table welcome. Considering watching the new Star Trek Kids show, yeah. I've been watching a little bit of Lower Decks too. Really like it so far. I'm not very familiar with Star Trek as a whole. I've only seen TNG, the related movies, and new movies. So I'm on, okay, no spoilers for the movies because I'm making my way through them, but I did two of the original series movies. I've watched, I've also been watching a bunch of original series. Two and three, so. Um, Wrath of Khan and Search for Spock. And then First Contact. Those are the only movies I've seen so far. Yes. Dragon Parasite yes. Queen Tank. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. That's like, actually almost exactly what I wanted to say. Awesome. Cool. I'm glad we did see it, Angel Lord. You I just don't know if you were here when we came through this room when it wasn't um when it wasn't frozen. But that's that's really cool to point out. Oh no. Did we not get these map squares because they're frozen? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Gotta watch the even number ones in original series. Yeah. Original series is my favorite, but I also like Enterprise and Deep Space Nine. Yeah. I'd recommend DS9 too. The later seasons contain some of the best episodes of the whole darn franchise. Mm -hmm. I've heard DS9 come up a lot, so I really should give that one a shot. I'm not a human. Well, thank you for supporting a human and the human race by being here. That is just fine. Are all of these... Oh, right. I can do this now. I forget that I need to do that. That's weird, though. Very weird. Where can we charge this? Here? Or at the bottom? <laughs> uh, the big frozen tank is supposedly Dragon or Parasite Queen. There's another room that looks like it has Dragon's babies in it. Oh, maybe it's the babies that we saw, but the tank reminded me I feel like it was similar. Uh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Eh, it's fine. Star Trek Prodigy is the new one. Yeah, I saw the um, like they they released the intro screen for it. And I watched that. Huh? Oh, there's so much! Please don't be crumble blocks. How can we... This is a cool room. There's no way it's going to last that long. What's on the other side of that door, though? No, we can't get to it because it's this room. Unless these were... Yeah, they're crumble blocks. Hmm. Okay, maybe we need to keep exploring down here. Earlier in the game, when the electricity is out, you can see inside uh, more clearly. Gotcha. Oh, thank you for the posture check as well. Not as weird as Bowser wearing the super crown and becoming Bowsette. <laughs> I know nothing about Star Trek, so whenever I hear about it, I imagine people in a spaceship talking about math. Eh. Reasonable. This does have crumble blocks. But then we can do this afterwards. I don't know. Let's go. Let's do it.
Yeah, it is mostly people having um, meetings inside of a spaceship and talking about the problem instead of doing things to solve the problem. No, that's not fair. And table, thank you for redeeming human kindness, sending human kindness from me to you, to all the chat. Thank you for being here. I am having a blast hanging out with you because you are you and not somebody else. You could be anywhere on Twitch, on the internet, in the world, doing anything, and you're hanging out with me playing Dread, and that means a lot. Have a great weekend. Thank you. And cheers. What is this room? Is this something- is this somewhere we should have gone right after we got speed boost and we didn't? There have been a fair amount of times in Dread when I was like, eh, I could go get an upgrade, but not right now. Smack. Here, wait, I want to get this square. Oh, I don't know how to do it! It was too cold? Oh, right. Yeah, then this is the first time we're exploring it. I hadn't considered how Star Trek is almost entirely people talking, but I really like that. It's- it's great. <laughs> no complaints. I see you liked the Pokemon X Digimon line art? Yeah! Hey Al, welcome in. I want to I want to rewatch Digimon the original the season 1 and see how it holds up. I loved that show so much as a kid. How? Okay, here's another You weren't here before. Rude. I cried when Wizardmon died. Can I make a suggestion for OG Digimon? Sure. Reminds me I need to start my Stargate rewatch. Hey Largo. Pokemon Digimon, will there ever be such a crossover? Digimon for Smash? Yeah. My avatar's goofy Geordi cosplay, so my bias is obvious. Ship in danger, let's have a meeting. Earth about to be conquered, let's have a meeting. Our leader was abducted and converted into a villain? Meeting. Exactly. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Oops. I don't think you can keep that charged while grabbing the wall. I don't think it lasts that long. I don't know how to do this. Are there other... Are there other blocks that make some kind of a path? Like a diagonal path? No? Think, Jen, think! Watch it sub the dub from Fox Kids does not hold up. Gotcha, thanks, Magus. Also, the music's better in the sub. Did you see my pumpkin? Highly relevant. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, sometimes to save the universe, you need to have a meeting, you know? Mm-hmm. One can only hope in regards of official crossovers, seeing as that's up to Bandai and Pokemon Company, but there's always fanfics. Digi-rap was revolutionary, oh my god. There's no way that lasts that long. How? Is there somewhere else that we can... Charge this? Because we scanned up here. And there's not some secret block here. And I don't want to, like, drop down from that room and come around this way, I don't think. That doesn't make any sense either. 
can't believe Cat can transform into a uh, six wing Angel Woman. <laughs> I forgot about that. Angel Mon and Angel Woman, right? <laughs> Dread being tricky, yeah, definitely. Let's go in here. Let's get some squares to rejuvenate us. Okay, you can tell when it stops working. And even if I timed all of those, what if we... I don't know. If you rewatch season one, I suggest you watch season two and then try series continues the story that came out a few years ago. I had no idea. I watched this like every day after school in fourth and fifth grade. And I used to love trying to draw the, oh my gosh. What's, what are they called before ultimate? Like the ones that walk around and talk with the, the main characters. Their base form, not the baby form. Anyway, I used to draw them in my notebook at school. Angemon, Devamon, Lady Devamon, Lady of an Evil, Girl, yeah. Baby one, baby two, rookie. Oh, I think rookie. Rookie is what I'm thinking of, yeah. James, hi, welcome in. And I remember watching the Digimon movie, the first one. I don't think, if there's others, I don't think I ever saw them. All right, I don't know what to do here. Ooh, foot cramp, ow. There we go, much better. Jen, don't sit cross-legged in your office chair. <laughs> Can we... I wish we could go up and up and up this way. I don't think... I think we scanned there and that wasn't a thing either. Have you ever played that one Digimon World game on the PlayStation? I have not, no. I don't feel like singing. The theme song is so good though. Hope you're doing well. How's cleanup going? It's pretty good. We we hundred percent in Gavarin and we're thirty five percent of Dairon and we've only been in this small small corner. So we I think it's time to move on. Sadly, um, I don't know what the secret is, but I'm assuming we can get it with everything that's in front of us in these few rooms here. Talk about Digimon all day. Yeah, if I start watching it again, I'll 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 need somebody to talk to about it. That's just how it goes. Here we'll save. Just can't remember the Digimon theme. No, Todd, not singing the Digimon theme. Can't talk in the server. Ooh, let me check uh, Discord really quickly. <laughs> if anybody else joined, I can get you your server role, so you should be able to talk. Welcome in. Thanks for joining the Discord. Thank you for using the Star Trek channel. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful picture of Data and Spot. My heart. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Music stream, but it's only the Digimon theme. No, we none of us would survive. Digimon was not my thing. Pokemon TV show was also not my thing. Pokemon Red for Game Boy was all over that. Yeah. I tried to watch... Um, Pokemon was in the morning, so it was a lot harder for me to watch than after school. I tried to watch before school, but I was not the kid that was like up early ready to go like I was always running late in the mornings and any old name welcome in 
Thanks for those hydrates. Okay, we'll take it. We'll do a quick um, Zelda break too. I was homeschooled, so Pokemon was always right there for a scheduled break. Nice. Digimon opening was called Butterfly. It's a great J Rock song. What flavor is seltzer? This is pink grapefruit. Kroger brand. <laughs> After school thing was Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball at 4. Dragon Ball Z at 4.30 on Toonami. Heck yes. I love the nostalgia. Cranberry lime is really good too, number. I almost got, I was torn between grapefruit, cranberry lime, and there's like a blackberry one that Kroger makes that I also, is, is quite delicious. Map squares for your Friday. I won't sing the Digimon song, but I'll, I'll I'll make up my own songs. You all know that I have to sing when we do like boss fights, and it's usually something along the lines of like, "We're dying, but I'm trying really hard to fight," <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Excited for a Halloween stream? Me too. I'm also really scared, but I do have a backup plan if Little Nightmares is way too scary. It's when Pokemon anime was on UPN. When it moved to Warner Brothers, now known as Pix Channel, it started getting aired in the afternoon. Gotcha. I did not stick with it, sadly. I don't know why. I don't know if I fell out of love with love Pokemon so for... Much. I love you, Bimo. Ring, ring. Hello? A while, but let's listen to Bimo. Oh, hello, Bimo. What a wonderful surprise. Just want to say that I love you. I love you too. Goodbye. Click. Goodbye. Click. I love that clip. Thank you so much, Underleaf, for the thousand bits. Thank you for cheering for humanity. I appreciate it. Welcome into the chat. Uh, truly. Kicking off the weekend with a bang. Got here from Outer Wilds. VODs. Can't usually watch the stream because Australia. Watching the VODs was the highlight of my week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you found us through Outer Wilds. And I'm assuming the VOD's on YouTube, not Twitch, right? I'm glad you could make it. Happy time zone. Yeah. Semi, thank you for gifting us up to Underleaf. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badge, your emotes, your ad previewing. We're very glad to have you. Thanks for coming in. All the hype and all the love. Now you can use the love emote too. I don't think you still have VODs on Twitch. I do. I have original, the original base game uh, as highlights, not VODs. But I, I have the whole stream with like the beginning chatting cutout and the ending cutout. It's basically the same thing that's on YouTube, but it's in like a collection on Twitch. Um, and I am going to put the DLC on YouTube as well eventually. Um, sorry, backtracking a second. Chat will be here to help with the spooks. Thanks, Trav. I know, it's gonna be scary. I got some nuggets from Kroger, and they were real good out of the air fryer. Yum! I love Kroger. Okay. Back and forth and back and forth. What are we doing now? What's our goal? I don't, my goal is not just to run around looking for map squares. I think I got very distracted with this whole corner thinking it was something that it's not. Where- here's a flashy room. That should be our next goal. This whole section, this is like three items down here. So... We're gonna run in really quick to do this. Oh right, this is in the lights are off. Yeah, I don't think we came in here. I don't think we went to the left of this room before the lights came back on. We should have, knowing that that Easter egg's in here. 
And then I think we go this way. We can take the tube over here. The tube. Kroger is my Loblaws, yeah. Kroger's your market basket. We had, when I lived in New England, it was, I think, Big Y. That was my Kroger over there. Right? Do I remember? Hoping Mercury Steam's first patch on the game is giving the player map square percent. <laughs> Me too, Taylor. Uh, I enjoyed Little Nightmares. I'm not super into horror games. I think I'm going to like it, but I also... The, the thing I'm most nervous about for Little Nightmares is that it's gory and gross. Not so much jump scares and tense, because I can handle the, the chases as long as I'm, you know, prepared to attempt them many times in a row and not get it the first try. Which, when is that ever our goal? Never. But I think some of the stuff that we're going to see, I'm going to have to like look away from the screen. Because I have had a little bit spoiled. Um, not not in detail, but because Bears played them both and I mod for Bears. And I didn't think I would ever play these games. So I've watched some chunks of it because I was like, oh, I'll never play that. It's too scary. Um, but now I'm like, no, you know what? I know enough about it that it's not spoiler free, but it'll still be it'll still be worth trying out. And seeing if I can do it. And then I watched Coggins and Pim play the second one. So I had some of the ending spoiled, which... Uh, it is what it is. Come to think of it, I liked the flashing rectangles of the game. That was a benefit of a more granular map. Yeah, I like it too. RK, welcome in. The tube. Tube. <laughs> exactly. Big Y is only way out in Western Mass. No. It's in Central Mass, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can confirm. Unless they've moved since I lived there and it's, like, gotten pushed out or they haven't been doing well. It's got grossities, yeah. I've only ever seen it when I was visiting friends in the Five College area. That's... Yeah. They've got it east of that, too, but yeah. I confirm, too, yeah. Haven't played number two. It's another one of the million things on my list. Relatable. Yeah, we want to go through this tube. This room, speaking of. Z57 is gone. They're in the lava. I feel bad for the bosses in this game. I feel like they're all being manipulated and imprisoned. And forced to come after us. I'm assuming those are crumble blocks over there. Oops, wrong button. Okay, they exploded, so they're not crumble blocks. Good to know. Do we want to go through this, too? Oh, for the squares? But there's squares right here. Hello, my name is Jen the Human. Welcome to my playthrough. Map squares. The game. If only Ravenbeak didn't release the X Parasites. If only! Oh no! Yeah, I feel bad for the enemies. <laughs> I honestly never had a problem with map markers, but then again, I never really placed them on doors or selectable objects. Yeah. I feel bad for Golzuna. He was just hanging out in his cave and Samus shows up to steal cross bombs. Pretty much. Uh, oh whoa. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. Such is the nature of Metroid games, though. We just show up and kick everybody's butt and explode the planet and leave. Chozo robot bosses deserve no such sympathy. True. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, goodness. C-57 also had misfortune of being eaten by a shape-shifting blob. Yeah.
Samus doesn't take- doesn't even take name, she just kicks butt. Mm hmm Kinda would rather be killed before the planet's exploded, personally. Would you rather... die... to Samus... in grueling combat? Wait, is this the Dragon Room? No, but there are some enemies in these- in these containers back there. Uh, or die in ex in, a, in a fiery explosion. It's a good. This is an important question. Kill animals in many worlds. Yeah. Surprised there are still planets. <laughs> Must speak Chozo to 100% the game. Hey, duck. Do you ever see Samus seek a way out of the planet? Seriously, I need an escape pod plan for when Samus shows up. I don't think we need- this room is giant and I want to get these squares, but I don't think we need this room. We need this. Look! Dun 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 dun. Okay. Wait, we went through all of this. And I didn't realize it was flashing. Uh, Chris, you should be good to go with the Discord. I gave you your Discord permission, so if there's something else going on, I'm not sure. It's a pretty brutal would you rather. It is. <laughs> Don't keep strategic key items with you to drop when you die. Yeah. Also a good point. Oh, this is still outside of the range. Okay. So it's here and I walked right past. It is! I walked right past. Sneaky. Yeah, the, the way that this game is set up, it makes it really hard not to want to try to 100% it. Because they give you so many flags and pinpoint where to go. It's not like we just did with Fusion where I was like, okay, let me walk over the entire sector and see and like morph in every corner and power bomb in every room and you have to you have to bomb walls but then you also have to morph and jump to see if there's an invisible tile just under where it would be if you screw attack into the wall you all know the struggle <laughs> imagine sam is taking talking with a friend Man, Samus, how come you destroy so many planets? I don't know, dude. It just happens. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. But also... Right place, right time. And it's kind of our job. At some point, you have to ask who installed self-destruct system everywhere in, uh, in the first place. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 100, how terrifying was fusion? I don't know. I did not find fusion to be scary. Tense, but not terrifying. Um, I don't know, like a 35, 25, that range? With, with, what are my references? Slime Rancher is like a 5 or a 10 because you still have to watch out for the tar. And Panko Park is like a five because they're still jump scare monsters, but they're cute and all you do is take pictures of them. What's a zero? I don't know, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Gotta go eat, maybe. Uh, convince. Oh gosh. Okay, Aris, have a good dinner. Have a good, have a good meal, I should say. Happy time zone. <laughs> I wonder if Mock and Anthony each have it rough knowing Samus and how she blows up planets. What? Looney, hi! Welcome in. Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earthbad, your emotes, your ad reviewing. We're very glad to have you. All the hype. Welcome back. Happy weekend. 1 to 50, not. 51 to 100, really terrifying. Animal Crossing is a 75 because of fear of debt. No. <laughs> Depends what- no, that's a very valid point. It depends what you're afraid of. 
Tom Nook is the scariest with financial slavery. Animal Crossing is terrifying being in debt. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry. What is a zero then? <laughs> Hollow Knight's a hundred. I would put Hollow Knight at like, I don't know, closer to a 50. But to me, the, so everybody's scale is going to be so different, right? Hollow Knight, when you're going through Deep Nest and you're, and you're like, what's going to sneak up on me? And some of the bosses are scary and some of the stuff you see is weird. But I didn't have that like panic fear. But for, oh, I don't want to spoil things that we've played only very recently. I don't want to spoil other things. There are some games that we've, oh, S Slender. I'm going to spoil Slender. Slender is horrifying. I hate being chased. It's dark. You turn and all of a sudden there's something that wasn't there before. Oh, that's, that's, that's close to my worst, scariest game that I can't ever play again. Or like the idea of Jen's scariest game is something like Alien Isolation where it learns from you and follows you and is tracking you. Oh no. It does it doesn't matter what it is, but the fact that something is is antagonistic and it's learning and chasing you, no. You don't have to pay off the debt that makes it a zero. I've seen extremely solid Animal Crossing horror videos and fan games. Oh. 50 only because of one area. I'm arachnophobe, dreading deepness. Yeah, I feel that, Looney. I, it, it depends what you're afraid of. Because if you're afraid of certain bugs, Hollow Knight and Deep Nest is like constant having to get over that through an area. It's not that something's chasing you, but it's, it's all around you. Tetris is a zero, yes. P-Cross. Uh, shockingly easy to tip it over into a proper nightmare, yeah. Hollow Knight's a sliding scale depending on how you end up in Deep Nest, yes. Slender is not cozy. I can watch them all day, but I can't play them. Yes, number. I like watching um, things like Dead by Daylight, but I cannot play it. I like watching other people play them. Tons of anxiety from Tetris because the music speeds up. Fair. Super Mario World is a zero. Slender Man is too much for me. Austin, it was horrible. <laughs> we played Slender the Eight Pages, and we played Slender the other one, and they were just... Ugh, no. I feel like this is usually our stream break anyway, so let's let's pause the game. Welcome back, humans. Hello, hello. I hope you had a good break. It's time to get back to the game. Hi. Thanks for chilling and listening to some lo-fi while we all did the stream break thing. It makes a world of difference, the fact that we do those. I know some people who stream for like, I don't even know, six, seven hours without taking a stream break. They must, though. They must at least get up and go to the bathroom, right? I don't know. I, I have to, like, disciplinedly look, that's a word, look at my timer and make sure we're doing it because um, it helps my, my headspace. It helps my, like, general body feels. You know, you got to stretch. You got to keep the legs moving, the blood moving. Anyway, um... I ramble, but let's continue our pursuit of map squares and items. Let's keep talking about scary games if we want to. Let's do the thing. Welcome back. Thanks, Trav. Oh, actually, and I missed it. I heard the alert because I had the earbuds in, but we got the, I think it was the Pally alert on break. So thank you for tipping the mods. I appreciate it. Heck yes. Go mod team, go. I feel like welcome back humans, how are you humans doing? All sounds like a robot trying to be human. Interesting. <laughs> Why would you say that, Povo? Um I don't have so Pally is not integrated with uh OBS, and I wonder if I can change that. Or like it it is it's not it's not integrated with the events log, with the Twitch activity feed. That's it. I wonder if there's probably there's probably a plugin or extension for OBS where it has like a Pally activity feed window that I can add, but 
can jam out rando seeds with no break. Once I get in the zone, all the details about the, the meat sack melt away. That's very true with randos. I feel that. If I'm not streaming and I'm just doing a randomizer on my own time, I'm like, phew, the world disappears and I'm sitting by my computer, like, remembering item locations. We are definitely human. <laughs> Thanks, Angel Lord. Um, I feel like... Oh man, I don't want to do. Oh, okay, I don't want to do spoilers for a specific show that is may or may not be related to the channel. But I feel like our fascination, my fascination. This is not a we. This is a, a me. My fascination with like BMO and Data, especially, has to do with the fact that looking at humanity through the scope of someone who is not human is very beautiful and reveals some very beautiful things about humanity and it, it makes it like extra impactful to see you know an android or a little robot notice the things that are essentially human i think it's funny that we have like data and bemo alerts because i don't know there's just something about having robot alerts on a human channel that makes me smile. Another lens to look at ourselves. Yeah. I think, I don't know if you guys hear it, but I think the crackle may have come back while we were on break. Yeah, it did. Let me reset really quick. Is this enemy gonna bot me? I don't think so. Uh, loading. Oh, interesting. We just got a black screen. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the bloopers behind the scenes are just gonna cut out the sneeze and the black screen and everything later on. Okay, that seemed to have worked. Let me recapture though. Excellent. Thanks for the bless you. Audio's a tad crispy. I think it is, uh, I think it's good now. Thanks for the bless. And the gazoon tight. We will continue. Let me turn up the game audio just a touch. Where are we going? Dang, Dairon is a massive area. I think we want to go to this part. Are there any items down here that we... This is acquired, right? Yeah, is this acquired? No, let's go get that. But didn't we just do that? We did just bomb that. Oh, I think I remember. I think this one is a hall spark. Have you seen the humans are adorable copy pasta about seeing what humans do as if they were randomly animals? I think so, Underleaf. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um. Or oh, you know, um, our friend Bren posts this account on Instagram, like, reposts this comic of the little aliens all the time, and they always make me laugh, and it's, it's these, like, little green men style or little gray men style aliens, but they talk to each other, and they're going through mundane daily things, but they describe it in a way that is very, like, literal petting a cat and instead of say oh what a good kitty let me pet you it's like oh what a moral creature let me touch my hand to your fur like i don't know i don't know how else to describe it i'll have to find some to post to the discord at some point because they're very funny another another lens for humanity 
I said we were gonna go that other way, but we're gonna get these map squares first. We call wine mild poisoning, <laughs> yes. It's so funny. It's so well done. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. The waves make such a cool sound in this room. Maybe I'll remember to flash shift, I don't know. I said I would try, but it's not going great. You can't flash shift through enemies. I think that's why I don't use it as much as I could. Enjoy the ocean wave scenes. I think those are my f Of all the trams, those are my favorite trams. <laughs> What is this shenanigans? We tried that too, right? It looks so suspicious. Alright, let's go down through here. Oh. Oh. It's so weird stumbling back into one of these rooms. Ooh. That corner is sus, yeah. Imagine if they're shade cloaks. Ugh. The tram that goes through an underwater portal gateway is also super pretty in its own way. Maybe I'm a sucker for water. Maybe. Could be. Also, the load screen make makes me immediately like, oh no. What enemy is in here? But it's gone now. Yeah, screw attack is, I don't know, it's truly broken in this game. After all the damage we've taken from all the enemies, you finally get to go back through and you're like, ah, oh, well. Glad I have this and you don't. This was the room with... Which Emmy was this? I feel like I remember this room and it was a really tough Emmy for me. Any secrets in here, though? Doesn't seem like it. Speed booster. Okay, yeah, this was the fast-moving Emmy room. I was... This was tough. Interesting. Can I go back through here now? I don't think I can, right? Even if I wanted to, we have to fall through that way. attack is a terrifying power-up, yeah. I would not want to be an enemy! Tasty map squares. The tram- oh yeah. I like the trams in this game. I think all the tram art is really- has great depth that you can imagine like, oh, there's probably other trams that come in here too when we're not playing. Other transport vessels that dock here and it's a fully functional 
facility. Although, it's interesting how far underground you are when you start. Dang, what are we looking for? We're trying to go up here. I'm wasting time. And this is when we first used, uh... First used Shine Spark, yeah. I remember. Is this going to close right after we go through? Yeah. Here's the ball spark puzzle. Oh, maybe not. Access open. Just kidding. So where... How do we want to make this happen? This isn't enough sprinting room. What about above it? I think this hallway is probably better, right? That kind of gets me to wonder about a uh, side view habitat building games such as Oxygen Not Included, but with mechanics incentives to build out Metroidvania like complexes. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I have to jump to get that one. Wait, what the heck? This is so weird. No. You can't... You can't, um... I'm gonna waste all my missiles doing this. jumping, but what's the best way to jump up there to make sure you hit that one? Oh my god, I hate it. 65 out of 175, we're tearing through these. Good thing there's a thing down here. Wait, why did I mark this? Because we've got this one and this one. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, we can go until we run out, I suppose. There we go. Maybe this is the hallway we need for it. Who knows? Stop reforming as a new enemy. Okay. Oh, here, this is flashing. Oop, rip. Uh, this. God, I hate that power up. I cannot. Okay, I don't hate it, but there's something about cross bombs that I don't understand. How are you supposed to grapple while you're... Bleh. No. <laughs> you have to not break the blocks that I just broke. You have to break this one block. Then you have to break the rest of these. Then you have to break the rest of these. Then you have to stand on the thing. No. Oh god. I don't understand why 
cross bombs exist. Also, I don't understand why super bombs exist in this game other than a door opener. Because I feel like, and I know we haven't gotten to this point yet. Oh, speaking of, maybe I should just do that. No, it doesn't hurt crumble blocks. Um, I feel like in other games, super bombs give you some kind of power up against enemies that you're like, ooh, I want to use this against an enemy and see what happens. But like in this one, it's just a door opener. And cross bombs is just for things like for puzzles. I don't see why you would ever use a cross bomb in a fight or against even like an overworld enemy. I think that's the thing I'm getting at. Like, I guess you would never use grapple in a fight, but it significantly opens new areas of the map in certain games and changes your movement, and you have to do it. It's just a rite of passage. And I feel like Power Bomb is sort of that in this game, but there's not huge chunks of the map because you get it late to the, like so late to the point where you're like, okay, now I have Power Bombs to go back and backtrack if I want to. I don't know what's after the point because we haven't progressed at all since we got Power Bombs, but. Cross Bombs when I'm feeling too lazy to bomb multiple bomb points. Should have come earlier in the game. Planet has a lot of continuous bomb blocks. X bombs are designed so that you don't harm other white normal blocks that are more targeted. Hybridized cross bombs and power bombs. Add mobility function to power bombs. I like that idea. There's a useful super bomb move on a boss. Do you want to know? Hey, drop is. Um, is it a boss that I've already fought? But also. Is it spoilers for a boss that I haven't fought yet? I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Thank you for asking first before before sharing it. Oh, I feel like I just need to sit here. Oh, wait. Gosh darn it. This is annoying. Oh, okay, wait, I can just go down here. I thought I had to cross that again. But I don't. Yay, more power bombs. I say as... Um... I'm, like, pondering why power bombs even exist in this game. But yay, more of them! <laughs> I have not finished the game yet, no. We are item hunting pre-finishing. Still first playthrough, I- yeah, thanks Austin. Apparently the bombs in this game do okay damage, even on bosses, but still why use cross bombs and you could spam missiles. It just seems like a very- I get that it's faster. Well, and maybe this is my perspective, having played all the Metroids where you have to bomb individual blocks one at a time, or use a power bomb to just blast the room. I'm like, okay, I have two ways to solve this problem, why do I need cross bombs? Number go up equals good, yeah. We didn't clear these squares down here, but I don't think we're gonna go back through to Berenia after this. I'm not sure. We gotta go to Berenia at some point. We gotta figure out how to get this thing. This is a hallway that we need. Okay. Watch a lot of Twitch, sorry, was not sure if you finished. Oh, it's okay. No, you're good. 
I wish you got cross bombs earlier and regular bombs earlier. Power up pacing is a little odd in this one, I think. Compared to others, it just goes against what I would think I'd need at certain times. Okay, that is not the strat. Like, I... If they're gonna give me cross bombs, I wish I had them early so I could get used to them because it's new. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through the whole game just using regular bombs, if that makes sense. I don't need this whole hallway, but... Oh, you know what? Do we want to use one there? Because it'll break multiples at the same time? I don't know if that is the hallway that we need. I like the delayed more. Yeah. They give you double jump, but two upgrades later you already get space jump. Yeah, that was odd. They could have given bombs immediately after morph. Yeah. Power bombs is obtainable 30 minutes after cross bomb. It just seems a little silly. Totally cool if you're into that. If you like it. Um, I couldn't figure it out. Wait, is this hallway long enough? No. Maybe. But I see some... Oh. Wait, didn't we try the ramp thing? Oh, I lost it. But it does have the thing with the re- it does have re-shine or whatever, re-spark. That makes me happy. I don't know if you want to know a good sequence break for getting cross bombs early as possible. Gozuna is somewhat harder if you try to get them earlier. I don't know how I could fight Gozuna without flash shift. With Secrets Break, you can get them earlier. Nice. Both of you having the same thought. Oh, okay. I don't think... Oh, you can keep your charge if you get hit by enemies. But I don't want enemies in this room while I'm trying to do this. It's hard enough as it is. Respark? Okay, no wonder I couldn't figure some of these out. I didn't know about it either. I only know about it because of Zero Mission. It's so sneaky. Okay, that lost, uh, we lost the speed boost. Respark. Is that what it's actually called? That's what I call it. Oh, we wanted it from the other side. So... If we open this, what is that? What good does that do us? This is a pun, fun puzzle to figure out. I like it so far. I think it's kind of impossible to not have flash shift when you fight Golzuna. Oh well, then I think it's then I, then I then I'd be okay. Flash shift is the only reason I won against Golzuna. I game, this game does have a new speed tech not used in previous games. I didn't know about it until I googled it. That bums me out. Because I love Respark, but I wish they had introduced it in the game in a way 
with animals or something. I wish they could teach it to me without me having to be told how to do it or watch a video on it. I need more decoras in my life. Let's think this out. If we... Let's scan, actually. Did we miss any blocks? No. So if we re-spark here, keep our charge here, But there's no... I don't know how that helps us. I guess we can try. The ability descriptions gave too little. And I think that's the fun thing about Super is you get speed boost, but until you go to the Decora room, you don't know what a Shine Spark is. And then you watch it happen and you're like, whoa, what? This is so cool. I and, and you don't have to do that to beat the game, but now you've unlocked this extra thing that the ability can do that's not in the man well, it's I think it's in the manual. I don't know. I haven't read the full super manual. But it's not in your like in-game manual, your in-game computer that tells you what all your stuff does. But the animals teach you. Oh, I did not mean to recharge that when I did. How can I? Oh, interesting. I have to use the morph button instead of the down button there because the morph button will cause me to spark again. I remember both the shine spark and wall jump rooms in Super. They took me 20 minutes to get out the first time. Yeah, wall jump was an experience, but it felt so awesome when you finally got out of there. Mercury and Steam weren't a fan of the animals. They probably didn't save them during their playthrough. Oh no. You can be a fan of the animals and still not get them, free them on your first try. That's okay. That did not go as planned. Even if I get all the way up here. I still don't know what my game plan is for how to get these. I guess I just have to space jump through them? What's up with this room? I didn't save the animals. I didn't know. I would have a hundred percent saved them if I had known, okay? We finished with like five seconds. Four seconds to spare. Wait, what the hell? So if you slide, that ends it. I love Super's methodology of locking the player in, uh, at most having the demonstration creatures. Though even that, that's extremely rare, but at the same time it's dangerous approach that alienates a large number of players. It's a tough thing. The approach of Dread is something I think is better for players as a whole, even if it's a poor fit for me personally. I like that perspective, yeah. I think the way Super does it is not for everyone, and this is a little bit more universally friendly, but I like that extra challenge of like, ooh, I'm stuck in here, what do I do? Vixen, welcome in, how's it going? Uh, I'm glad you're brainstorming. I don't want any hints or help yet, but if I do need help, I will let you all know. I wonder in future Metroid games if Metroid will make a- if the Metroids will make a comeback. Mercury, if Mercury Steam liked animals, they would have unleashed Corbius onto them in the beginning. <laughs> oh, wouldn't have, yeah. Super 
So I don't think you can slide under there. I think we have to just space jump. Oh, this is weird. Why did they give you that? Why did they give you that block there? I feel like it's supposed to be a shortcut, but... So far, every time I've done the baseball slide, it's ended the charge. Maybe you have to... Okay, here's another thought. No, this isn't right. Because if you... Say we speed boost, speed boost through here. Wow, wow, wow. Speed boost, space jump. Wow, wow, wow. Charge. Spark into ramp. Okay, now we have speed boost again. If we slide under here, if it allows me to keep the speed boost, I can charge... Space jump, space jump, space jump, and maybe make it here in time without a spark. Or I can charge the spark here. Space jump, space No, there's no way I can space jump through this without touching the ground. No, that's not gonna happen. I don't even think I can make it from here space jumping. Because you're doubling back, you're going like left, right, left, right, left, right. So how the heck do you do this room? And why do they give you this one little square? Is this just a shortcut for later? And why do they give you all these ramps if you don't- if you're not supposed to re-spark? Hmm... I'm assuming we have to take care of this from below because of these, uh, bomb blocks, but... I don't even know that. Baseball slide, yeah. I saw how this is done. I won't say the method I saw, but if you don't want to hear, but... But now you know that I know it. Okay, Toon, thanks for the good luck. Now I know that you're a resource I can call on if I need... If I need a hint. This was mind-blowing when I saw it. Oh my gosh. I feel like... I'm led to believe that you're supposed to approach it from down here. But I kind of want to rule that out in case it's not, in case we're supposed to come at it from above. Saw two methods, but remember one. There's definitely more than one way to do this. Jaquoi, hi, welcome in. Oh, we know what that block is. I feel like because we've already missed one entire power-up puzzle in Dairon that I do kind of want a hint. Not a hint, sorry. Um, I want to rule out if you come, if you, if you come at it from above or below. There are four ways, at least four ways to do this. That's amazing. You can respark here too with these stairs. I don't know why you would, though. Is that a real question? Not yet. <laughs> um... So that we can move on... Oh, look, there's a whole thing over here! Well, okay, wait. Safe word. Can you come at this puzzle from both above and below yes or no only can you is is there a way to do it this way and also a way to do it this way does that make sense okay okay cool thank you 
then I think we will leave it behind for now because there's other stuff I want to go look at and I'm not having any breakthroughs. I've done it two different ways from below, so I'd say that one. Okay. Hey, Yonk, welcome in. I caught a live stream, the explorations before the ending. Yeah, it's good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for that follow earlier. Uh, Zero Mission taught me to always look around the slopes for speed boost potential. Mm-hmm, yeah. Zero, how's it going? I, I, I think I could get that one, but I'm gonna give it a rest for now because I keep trying the same thing over and over without different results. And you all know what that means, so we're gonna give it a, a little bit of a break and see if I come up with some fresh ideas. And mostly map squares. Kalipo, welcome in. How's it going? Top is how I did, but that's harder. Okay. That's all. No more answers. That that gives me enough information to work off of. That's exactly the kind of thing I wanted to rule out, is, is that there wasn't only one way to do it. I don't need to clear the squares in this room. It's satisfying once you get it, I bet. They always are, they're always worth it. Aside from, I think it was Zero Mission. There was a crumble block puzzle in Zero Mission that's like the first Metroid puzzle I've ever done where I thought, dang, that was, I didn't like it. I was not a fan, it wasn't satisfying, it was just annoying. And that's it. The rest of them, even though they take a while and they're a huge pain, I'm always like, no, that was really cool. I'm glad I did that. Satisfying when you get it. Baby steps. Yeah. Baby Metroid steps. Yeah. I think with this game, I'm being, I'm trying to be kinder on myself too, because there's so many new moves. There's no way I'm going to come up with every solution on my own right away. I think there's gonna be a progression of like easier ones and harder ones. Is that in Crade's Lair? I think I know which one you mean. Um, I'd have to go back and look, Angel Lord, but it was like, it might have been in Ridley, because Ridley were the last ones I did, and there's a bunch over in the lower right hand corner, and there's a bunch over in the lower left hand corner. And one of, there was like five remaining, and I think one of those five remaining items, the last five that I did, was the crumble block puzzle that I hated. But I could be wrong. I think, I think that's where it, where it was. I, think, I also think I might sneeze again. Maybe? <coughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Excuse me. I've never been down here before. Oh, what? There's nothing down here? It's just lava pits? It looked like it was gonna open up to a whole new room. I should have known. No, no map marker. Ugh, rip. Now what? Dyron is difficult. Dyron ha only has one more flashy room. So does that mean each item we find goes up like 20%? <laughs> I don't think so. Here's one. I I don't I think it's interesting how um when you see when you get the item on your screen though, the flashy thing stops. So then you have to look at the map a lot more closely. to inspect what you've already observed. Lava pits for post-game replaying, yeah. Role-playing. It's strawberry juice, mm-hmm. 
I sneezed publicly once and I got so many anxious stares. Oh no. Diron doesn't have too many items, but some are tricky. It doesn't seem like it has quite as many, but it is challenging. No doubt about that. Those are just breakable. Okay. Do they reform? They do, but they're regular blocks. I'm assuming we'll need that for later. I wonder how many areas there are where I thought I was sealed in one way. And then it turned out there were just breakable blocks nearby. More than I'm comfortable to admit, I'm sure. Okay. We'll clear this and then these generator rooms are cool looking. I almost feel like I can you walk around with your minimap expanded? No. Five percent is what that item gave us. The maps thing is is what's making this a lot slower going. If I didn't care about map squares, we would be absolutely cruising. But it is it is put us at a bit of a standstill. No, I won't call it a standstill. It's just made for a very, very casual uh, run. You know, chatting and and mapping. They're the true final boss, exactly. <laughs> Crumble blocks and map squares are one true enemy. Oh, I didn't really want to go through that because I don't want to go into the Emmy zone. Yeah, that's what we're doing, Khalifa. We're um, trying to get all the map squares as we search for items, but it's proving to be really hard to just leave whole rooms behind because I'm like, well, we're nearby, so I might as well go grab it. I don't know, I went into the stream knowing it would be kind of like this, and I'm having a blast, so... Conventional or not approach to dread completion, this is how I want to play this game. <laughs> We're just face planting into em enemies because I'm staring at the mini-map, okay. It's almost like a mini-game within the game. To completion, personally, yes. We may not even get every item, but we sure as heck will get every square. It's Friday, so it can be justified. If this hadn't fallen on a Friday, I don't know that I would have done this, but the fact that it was already our Friday stream, where one, like, however far we get today, I'm still probably gonna go for uh, the boss next time, or the end game next time. And it just felt right. <laughs> Remembered my time looking for the flashing map and it felt like some kind of fancy vision test. Yeah. Started using peripheral. Mm -hmm. Classic Metroidvania trap of hanging a percent number in front of you. Oh, yes. And then going down 104 for some reason. Oh, yes. Filled in maps look nice. It is really satisfying. I feel like this is the type of thing where some people are like, oh, I'm so glad you fill in every little bit. It's so nice to look back on. And others will go, Jen, why the heck did you do that? And that's valid.
Why did I not finish this room? Oh, because dumb crumble blocks. I think we're gonna leave these behind? No, they'll be pretty quick. I think I'm gonna go up through here and then across through the Emmy zone. That's the path I think I want to take. It's like a coloring book. It is. It's nice. We haven't done a coloring book stream in a while. We should color again sometime. Okay, brilliant. I heard a rumor if you take too long, Emmys respawn in SAX Resurrects. Oh no! I can't handle it. it. That's what the people want, is another SAX fight, right? Wouldn't that be cool? This game makes me want to play Fusion again and see what I missed. Like, lore-wise. Items, we didn't miss any. We went back for the 100%, but... Lore? I feel like a lot of it did not click. Back with wine! Welcome back, Tall. Cheers! Oh, we're gonna die in this tunnel. It's okay. <laughs> Oh look, the enemy just went away. Oh, and now it came back. Okay, there's gotta be a secret in this room, right? Something? Anything? No? We can go back here? Access closed. Why? Hmm. I heard that too. I also heard Luigi's in Super Mario 64 and Mew is under the truck. Oh my god. Ah. Must be real, must be true. Why is this closed? I don't know. Maybe there's another elevator from Arteria to another spot in Dairon. That'd be logical. We're gonna go clear... We're gonna clear this area and then we're gonna come back through the Emmy zone. Oh, you know what game I need to play? It's been on my wish list for ages, but sometime I need to pull the trigger and buy it. I need to play Chicory. The, speaking of coloring book wholesome games, Chicory looks so cute. Why does it look like there should be something over here? When I went back for 100%, there were three or four elevators I just never found. There's so many elevators and so many teleports. I know many games you need to play. Thank you, Ta. I know. What? Psychonauts? Monkey Island 3? Um. 100% Super? Um. <laughs> Plus one for Chicory. Nice. I've rather enjoyed watching Co. Oh, it's Co op? <gasps> Good to know. I was confused when watching it, but I only came in the middle. I want to play Chicory as well, been waiting to see if it would come to Switch. Oh, good point, Trav. 
The second player can control an additional paintbrush. I have many that I haven't told you yet. All of them Castlevania. We are gonna play Castlevania someday. No, it's on the schedule. It's just um the schedule is vast. And I never know how long a game is going to take for us to get through, which doesn't help for planning purposes, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think anyone minds. That's just the nature of things. I don't think we would have the same amount of fun if we breezed through everything and flew through it as fast as possible. Sometimes backlog is overwhelming. It is, I try to be very strategic with my game purchases and backlog. It, it just, I can't just buy a game when it looks good. I have to be like, okay, this has been on my wish list for forever for stream, but am I gonna play it right now for stream or is it gonna be later? If it's later, I'm gonna have to wait because I need to focus on whatever the next game is on our stream schedule. Here's Castlevania being mentioned immediately listens to Vampire Killer. I enjoy games just taking however long they take. Me too. You know what's a nice Halloween to game game to play? Costume Quest. I've heard good things. I've seen a little bit of it. It looks cute. Is Costume Quest it's on Steam, right? Short but fun. I think I saw someone play it on Xbox or something like that. Oh, it's 75% off. Hmm, nice. Good to know. Into the Emmy zone. What's our plan after Dyron? I think we're going back to Cataris after this. Because we're at 61%, so let's try to... I know, there's an enemy about to chase me. Or we could even go back to Arteria after this. I ask this because I'm gonna go clear out these squares. One was made for Double Fine Game Jam, where the company breaks up into groups and each group makes a game demo. And people loved it so much they made a whole sequel. I don't, I don't think I knew it had a sequel either. Um, that's very cool. It's fun when Game Jam games really take off. That's the dream, right? You make something in a Game Jam that's just so good. That it's not, oh, we did it as a project for a game jam. We, like, we did it, and it we made it. <laughs> and things were never the same again. Some DLC, nice. I don't know that we're going to have time for costume quest this year, but I can, can depending on the price of it, if it's 75% off, that seems uh, reasonable. <laughs> I can get it and snag it for another time. And by this year, I mean like this year, Halloween. Because we are streaming later on Sunday and I don't know that we're gonna go quite as long as we usually do because we're starting so late. My plan for uh, for Little Nightmares, if we if we stream the whole thing, we'll, take, we'll try to finish it, we'll take like the whole four to five hours and just stream that. If it's too scary and we need to switch games. Honestly, I was thinking of playing Cozy Grove because it has really fun Halloween updates and content. And it's not scary at all. It's the opposite of scary. And we could just chill and hang out in costume and look at cute little island ghosts. Well, we could try costume quests.
This room is flashing. Their missile blocks. In bomb blocks? No, oh, I'm so bad at. Okay, so you can drop one. No, respin, respin! Ugh. I hate it. There we go. <laughs> Have to go with D&D &D tonight. Take care, everyone. Don't finish the game without me. Take your time exploring. Jerry Axe, have a good time. Take, uh, take care. Have fun. Enjoy D&D. &D. We'll see you around. Excited for games I've never heard of. Heck yes. Added costume quest to game suggestions. Nice. I see Spirit Fair was already recommended, but re-recommending. Oh, I'm playing through Spirit Fair, Austin. Or, or are you just recommending for the channel? I've been playing Spirit Fair co-op off stream, and I love it, and it's so fun. Highly recommend Spirit Fair. It just ended up being a game that I didn't stream. Hello, internet humans. I'm suffering at the hands of Vax Booster, watching day three of Outer Wilds Bod, and wanted to pop in and say I'm glad it got better. <laughs> oh, Lord. I hope you feel better. I hope you get through the booster. I've heard it's rough. Yeah. Feel better. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the VODs. Thanks for saying hi. If you want a list, you have to play Monkey Island, Pajama Sam, Psychonauts, Day of the Tentacle, Dropsy, Superliminal, and Antichamber, and more. I've played Superliminal. Um, I streamed Superliminal. There's a highlight of it somewhere. Antichamber I've heard of. Day of the Tentacle, I can't say that I've ever uh, heard of. Superliminal was last year in July, I think. It was a while ago. Day of the Tentacle is another LucasArts adventure game. Nice. We're at 65% of items. I see the one on screen right now, um, in Dairon. Soon to be more than 65% because now we have these. Antichamber never managed to finish because it got irritated, gotcha. Uh, for a second I thought Manuel Samuel when seeing Pajama Sam. I don't know that one. What did I say we were doing after this? I think we're gonna go to Arteria after this. So I can clear this room now. And not later. Josh, how's it going? Welcome in. We are trying to collect everything before finishing the game. Yes, that's the plan. And map squares. We're doing map squares and chatting and item hunting and learning the shine spark trying to learn the shine spark puzzles in this game, although I can't say I've had a ton of success so far. Little amounts of success. It does get better even when it feels like it won't. You get the first vaccines after having COVID the year previous and it was like round two of the sickness. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yonk. That's rough. I've heard from a couple people that the boosters really knock them out. That's just a lot. That's just a lot for the body to deal with, you know? Oh, <laughs> extra ping. It's okay, Yonk. You're good. I do that. I, d I do that all the time. Who hasn't pinged someone with no context in a Twitch chat? Do we want to come down here and clear this? Not really. 
No, I want to go here and get this missile tank. Oh, but these are the only sections left. Oh, and this down here that we skipped. Dang. And I think that this, there's things... remaining that... Like this one... and this one... Because we're already at 70% now. Admiral, hi. Welcome. What would you use? Shine Spark for IRL. Oh. Hmm. Good question. Let me think about it. It sounded hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it would be cool just to shine spark from my front yard and see the whole neighbor neighborhood from way up high. At first thought, that's the only thing I have so far. Home renovation. Breaking walls down in my house. In my parents' house, helping, helping do some demo before rebuilding. I'd recommend saving next time you get a chance. Lots of progress. We saved not too long ago, but I can... Yeah, absolutely. I'll save again. Shine Sparky to work sounds fun. Yeah. Down the main road, like, outside of the neighborhood to get to the store faster. <laughs> to go get ice cream faster. <laughs> I got most of map scores, but not 100%. That's an OCD nightmare. It's been calming. It's been satisfying. It's good for, for, for chatting. This is like the stream that if you're looking for boss fights and story progress, you will not get them. But you will get lots of good conversation and hangouts. And Jen drinks wine and plays Metroid. <laughs> it's, our, it's our Friday tradition. I didn't get a booster shot, but I've had a cold all week. Not severe, but definitely annoying. I'm sorry, Trav. That sucks. I appreciate it. The booster isn't feeling as awful as the second dose. I remember it being like sickness. Yeah. Uh, what if... Wait, but what if Shine Spark had infinite distances because it didn't drain HP? Oh, that's a cool thought. Just fast travel all over. Visit all my friends. I'd love to Shine Spark if I also had safe landing boots. True. Chell boots. Bring portal bo boots into the picture. You need to make sure there are no buildings or people in your line of fire. Yes. Thoriel, welcome in. How's it going? I try to run on water. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Does anybody else eat ice cream right out of the container? Yes. Oh, before there's only one serving left. I just eat it out of the container so I don't have to clean bowls. It's just me, so... I'm seeing a lot of co-op games I enjoyed playing with a friend are on steep sale, adding them to game suggestions. Nice! We are kinda sorta going for 100%. Yes, Thorio. Casually, tentatively. We're, we're getting as high of a percentage as we can today before we attempt to do endgame next stream. Also, we need to talk about next week's stream schedule, because I feel like it's gonna be different. I feel like we're gonna finish the game, or try to finish the game next week. Friday because I have at least one day off next week. I'm not sure if it's going to be Monday or Wednesday. And then on of the two of those, the day that's not off, I do not know what I'm doing for stream yet, but I don't think I'm going to be playing Dread. I will keep you posted though. Sorry for the uh the change of of schedule. We're going to get this missile tank. I got very distracted, but we were having some good talks. Oh, this room. Oh, weird. I don't 
think. Oh, what? What an odd puzzle. I don't know how to get this block without a power bomb. We've got six left. And we've got a refill nearby. Okay, cool. Maggie, hi, happy Friday. It's good to see you. Happy weekend. Yeah, why dirty a bowl? Exactly. Amari, we're on the same page. I'm a peep the list. I want to know what other co-op games are on. The, the co-op games I've enjoyed recently are It Takes Two, amazing game. Um, I've heard, no, purchased, not purchased. Conspiring to play, um, what's the prison one? <laughs> the breakout, the co-op escape one. A way out. Yeah, that's happening sometime in the future. Um, I've played the Portal 2 co-op. I've played a little bit of Ibn Ob. Spiritfarer. But I'm curious, what else is out there? Oh, what's the one that Meg and Bears played? And Bren played? We were here, remember we were here? Something like that. I'm curious about that one. Also, uh, keep talking and nobody explodes. Super fun. We were here together, thank you. Oh, I don't think you can target on to these. How does this work? Yay! It works like that. Okay, I was worried, but we did it. We're at 75% of Dairon. Tough. Tricky. Let's go refill and save soon. It's so much easier than the way you did it. How did you do it, Angel Lord? The item took me too long to figure out. Uh, have you played Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time? No, that sounds cool. Love the sound of that. Uh, do we have this? Yeah. So now we're clearing this and going down here? I guess. Okay, so this would bring us to 80, 85, I don't know where the rest of them are. This is showing me Emmy zone doors. But if I do the, the highlight thing, it doesn't let me look at others to see if I've picked them up yet or not. Do you know what I mean? Overs is what I was going to suggest it's best with four players. Oh, other co-ops? Oh my gosh. Human Fall Flat. Hilarious. Love it. I played that with friends before. Um, what's the one that's like Among Us but it's not Among Us? Hilarious. Love it. 
adding to game suggestions. I didn't know there was a different way to do that puzzle. What's the other way to do it? Did it with speed boost, then quickly bomb the first block, shoot four missiles, and ball sparks left. Oh my gosh, complicated. Love it. Wouldn't be a stream game, but just suggestion for off stream. Yeah, I appreciate it. From what I saw of your experience with Greece, I might recommend the other... Oh, yes, Toons. You missed our playthrough of Journey and Absu. I love them both dearly. Um, Abzu is like one of my favorite, favorite, peaceful, wonderful, relaxing games. For the last couple weeks, the game I have played the most of is Sudoku on my phone for two hours every morning. Please send help! Magus, phone addiction is real. First hand... Yeah, first class trouble. Yes, that's the one. Thank you. I love that game. Is there a journey bod? There's a highlight. It should be... It's hard to find, though. I think it's under Peaceful Games Collection. So if you go to the Videos tab in the Twitch desktop player, um, you go to Collections, all, See All, and you scroll until you find... It's called, like, Wholesome Games and Mindfulness. And Journey is in there. Grease is in there. Abzu is in there. Some other stuff like that. Would have loved to see the playthrough. It was so nice. Still have to play the latest game made by them. Uh, the Pathless. Cool. Moving out is fun. Spy Party is fun. I love Barry's clip, but the terrible audio. Those clips made me laugh so hard. It was just a game that I didn't know that I needed, and we had such a blast playing those. I don't know, and I'm terrible at Among Us. I don't like lying. I don't like the discussion portion of the game where you have to trick everybody into thinking that you're the one that should be trusted. And it puts such a heavy emphasis on, like, the mind game of it. But First Class Trouble was just chaotic. Like, it was funny to be bad at it and to not understand fully the different mechanics and to just wander around and be like, hey, hey guys, look, I found a fire and then push people into the fire and be like, oh, whoops. I didn't know that would happen. Like, oh, so many laughs, so many giggles. I think I'm gonna go here, yeah. I still don't think I've saved. We need- we really need to save. It's hard to play Among Us with my friends. We're all lying jerks. You look like an honest person. <laughs> First Class Trouble has been out already. They showed it's gonna be free during the last day to play for this month. Oh, yeah, it's been out for a while. We played it as a group back in summer, sometime in the summer, and I loved it. And it's just, okay, like, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to gamify it and, and um, talk to each other in the conference room and try to deduce who it is and who it's not. But in the first, I don't know, five rounds, we all just died because we ran out of oxygen. <laughs> like, it's like... The first time I ever played Among Us, we didn't die because the imposter sabotaged the ship and we couldn't save it. We were able to save it. And then you go a few rounds and you run out of people and then maybe you're more likely to die because of sabotage. But First Class Trouble, it takes a few rounds to figure out how the oxygen works and how the items work. Oh, And so we were just running around chaotic, looking, discovering things, trying to figure out how the game worked. Sounds like something an imposter would say. Fair. Already an existing game. Yeah. No, it's great. Please save. We will save. We've got a lot of health. We're doing okay. I'm gonna go through and clear here. And then we'll save. Here. 
I don't want to go through these tubes again. I don't think we can. I'm gonna save here. It's pretty hard to die at this stage. Screw attack makes it not even on my radar, which is dangerous. The Emmy doors are hard to clear sometimes without accidentally walking through them. All these suspicious corners. I feel like those corners just exist because Emmys exist. No items. Dang. We cleared so much. Oops. Baseball slide. Best ability in this game. By far. Okay, let's save. Imposter is just X parasites blow their head to see if it'll regenerate. Oh, no! The game. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen first first class trouble, basically it's Among Us, but you are three D third person. What would you call it? Nineteen forties era looking humans on a still a spaceship but it's a resort cruise ship casino again weirdly 1940s era but also futuristic tech so you can buy cigarettes from the cigarette machine and you can listen to a a jukebox and do a little dance and a record player and you can walk around this whole like hotel looking resort but there of the six of you there's two android imposters and they can do things that the humans can't and humans can do things that the androids can't and only two humans can corner an imposter to to like turn off their system or like decapitate them or whatever but if two androids try to take out a human, they can't do it. And so then you you know, like, oh, something's fishy here. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hilarious. All right, we saved. Whew, everyone can breathe. I don't really want to come down here because I feel like we can catch this another time when we do Berenia. This isn't flashing, but it makes me think there's an item here since there's so many missed squares. But I don't know. Or like this, I thought we tried to do a scan there and there was nothing. So let's go back to Arteria. We're only at 75% of items, but there's two that I just could not figure out, so. All time fave co-op Zelda Four Swords. Such a hard game to play, getting people who wanted to play and had Game Boys each, but best time ever. Battle mode also awesome. Very cool. Two out of six being androids is good odds. In real life, I think it's three out of six. Hey, Poliwoggy. Bees, hi, welcome in. Hope all is well today, same to you. Gonna be lurking because I don't want spoilers. I need to shower after a long day of work. Was a messy one today. Have a good shower. Have a nice, refreshing cleanup. Thanks for popping in. I wish Four Swords Adventure would get ported to switch with support for online play. That would be cool. Secret of Mana was a great multiplayer if you had multi-tap. What's multi-tap? Ooh, item! Yay! Oh, I missed a square. A whole new room! 
A whole new strawberry juice room. Why does this exist? I did not do exploring any justice when we first came through a lot of these areas. I was just overwhelmed, so I'm glad we're coming back here to do this. Four controllers for a Super Nintendo. It's a device that lets you plug in up to four to five additional controllers. Cool. Multipass. Multitap was a thing that let you plug in six controllers. Huh. I managed to land a full-time job with Marine Debris Cleanup Crew as part of a Cleaner Coast initiative, which has been a great job with hard work that leaves me feeling good about what I've done. That's amazing, bees. I love to hear it. That's so wholesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Raiders, welcome in. Thank you so much, Nobe the Witch. Welcome, friends. Hi. I'm Jen the Human. We're having a very... <laughs> Samus is standing in lava. We're having a very chill item hunting stream in Dread. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Oh, uh, you were playing The Evil Within. Ooh, who's been playing that? Um... I think Lindsay's been playing that. Our friend O Lindsay's been streaming that as well. It looks scary. Multitap with Super Bomberman was a joyous part of my youth. We're talking throwback games, co-op games, all kinds of conversation. I hope you're having a really good night. It's nice to meet you. Welcome in, Raiders. Blue Pixel Angel, welcome. I just found this room for the first time and I am clearing all the map squares and then we're gonna focus on whatever item is in here. Love the dark suit. Oh yeah, we're wearing, um, I don't know if this is what you mean by dark suit, but we're wearing skeleton onesie today as well. Carteria was, it doesn't ex encourage much exploration until you're at the end. You have to come back here with gravity suit because all the lava hurts you. And I think the first time you come through here, you don't have, um... Varia either. So you're dealing with the hot, hot heat. I hadn't played in years, so it was like a refresh. Nice! How'd you find us, Nope? Are you a big Metroid fan, too? Horror games, Halloween vibes. Love they did the same format as original. This room is how you can get grapple early, but it's tricky so early. Oh, cool. It's a chill exploration day, rip roar and boss bash and Rudy tooty shoot day. Thanks, Ta. Bees, thank you for the two months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. I love those two emotes next to each other. Thanks, friend. Enjoyed Prime 3, nice. I haven't played Prime 3 yet. Only Prime 1. Okay, there's but more to explore here. Scary and dark. That is why we must find the light. Bees, thank you for the five gifted subs as well to the community. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you got a sub, welcome to the human race, courtesy of bees. Enjoy your earth badges, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Thank you so much. Welcome everybody. Thanks for the dance, Maggie. All the hype, all the love. I think I played a Metroid game when I was younger, but don't remember it much. Blue Pixel Angel recommended you. Thank you for the recommendation. Welcome, welcome in. If you need to raid and lurk and eat food and rest and all the things, I totally understand. Post stream vibes are real. Um, but I'm glad you found us and I'm glad you're here. Happy weekend. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to scroll down. Any desire to check out a Dread speedrun? Eventually. Someday. I need to watch more speedruns. And Lord, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the human race, courtesy of Lord. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ad-free viewing. Welcome in. 
gotta head out. Uh, so good night, everyone. Tunes, have a good night, a good sleep. Happy Halloween weekend. Thanks for hanging with us. And been planning to sub anyway. Here's a pay it forward. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Enjoying wine. Yes, yes we are. It's like a Friday thing that we do on the channel. I have a glass of wine. Usually like the second half of stream. And it's a more laid back streaming night. I'm gonna go eat because I was streaming for a hot minute. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the stream. Thank you. I totally, like I said, I understand. Have a good meal. Have a good rest. Glad you came in with the raid. Jen's medal for drinking straight vinegar. It's Chardonnay, okay? <laughs> oh, this is multiple things in a row. Maybe? Be lurking. Thanks for the lurk, Blue Pixel. Pepper, glad you got a gifted sub. That's awesome. Okay, we got all the squares there. So this is... Oh, that's where this connects! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We were gonna come this way anyways! So if you get this early, this bomb tunnel... How did we miss this one square? Why? Then you can get this room and get grapple early? More map squares. All the map squares. Look at how beautiful our Dyron map- Okay, don't look at this room. But look at this room. All of this is cleared. Isn't it nice? <laughs> the one square taunts me. We were gonna come back this way anyway. But we'd have to go... Through here. 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 Nope. Here. And then down the bomb tube. Oh no, the launcher is... The launcher is there. So we'd go through the launcher and then have to double back. For the one square? Why is this like this? I feel like it deserves to be honored and left alone. I'm not doing all that just for one square. I know when to say when. Maybe. Worth? I don't- I mean, maybe someday. The loading zone? Maybe. Maybe you can never get it. We're going back to Arteria. We've got 85% of Dyron. Not bad. We deliberately left behind two that I couldn't figure out yet, so. Onward and downward. <laughs> Elevator music. Mm hmm. Thanks for hanging, everyone. This is really fun. Now you get a taste of why I love Metroidvania so much. You already have a good idea why, but this is like the core of why it's so enjoyable. Not always the hype and the boss fights, but just the exploring and looking at the map and trying to figure out where you haven't been yet. And why it fits with our wholesome vibes. I feel like Metroid is not a wholesome, wholesome game, but I love working through them. I love exploring. Samus, the shoulder's killing me. <laughs> Gearing up to try Ori next. Oh, Josh, I hope you like it. I loved, I loved both of the Ori's. Ori 2 was a lot harder for me, but um, beautiful, beautiful game. Cool story. Gets you in the heartstrings. Thank you for the follow, Poliwoggy. Thanks for supporting fellow human. Got stuck in Ori 1. Have yet to return. Ooh. I love Ori 1 so much. But it does have points where you can get pretty stuck, yeah. Thank you for streaming. Aw. Of course. Glad to do it. I love doing it. What's our plan for Arteria? We're at 89%, which is even higher than where we just left. 
We should come over here then. Dang. Uh, do we want to clear this? Not really. Because we're heading the opposite direction. We can come back for it, maybe? We should come back for it. We should do however much of this we want to do over here. Oh, but there's also a Berenia elevator. I was going to say we can exit through this elevator and go back to Berenia through Dairon. But why would we traverse all of Dairon just to get to that one section of Berenia? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hollow Knight first? Fair. Reminded me of Hollow Knight has a strong reputation, so I'm sold. Yeah. Ori 1 does not give me Hollow Knight vibes. Ori 2 gives strong Hollow Knight vibes. Um, not as much for the bosses, but the number of upgrades and items and things like that. And the lore. It's my next game after I finish Psychonauts 2. Nice. So yeah, there we have it. Grapple access from Tyron. Yeah, I, w I will eventually watch a speedrun of this game because there's so many things that I never ever would have figured out. We really did not focus on sequence breaking in this playthrough, right? I did the opposite of that. I was like, oh, do I want to backtrack and look for more stuff? No, I'll do it later. I'm too confused. Have you played Blasphemous? No. I'm going to be powering through the first one to get to the second. Nice. Is there a bonus for getting the map squares? Nope. Just makes for a fun stream and silliness and... I don't know. Personal satisfaction. Satisfaction while chatting. It gives me something that I can do pretty mindlessly while hanging out with you all, but it also leads us to items anyway, so. And I was tempted to do it after the last stream. I was like, oh, you know what would be really fun is if we do a stream trying to get all the map squares it would be it would be I don't know it would be different I don't know how many people are doing that what's down here a missile pack we already got so now we want to go left yeah map every two seconds. Do you have a certain area song that stayed with you? One of the games, Hollow Knight, Metroid, or I'm studying game composer. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. City of Tears and Hollow Knight. City of Tears and Hollow Knight. Resting Grounds and Hollow Knight. Um, Brinstar. A bunch of the... Metroid Prime tracks, Fendrana Drifts, Karen, what's the like main area remix track? Uh, what's a good Ori song? I love the very first Ori upgrade that you get when you're reunited with your Oh, I can't remember what it's called. The little, like, fairy that follows you everywhere. That fountain music that you get every time you see a life tree. That's not a song. That's a an item fanfare of sorts, but I love it. <laughs> Lots of good music, yeah. Game soundtracks, altogether soundtracks. I love the Axiom Verge soundtrack, and I love... Timber Hearth soundtrack in Outer Wilds. Especially since last couple of streams have been more boss fight heavy, this is cozy. Yeah! Thanks, Trav. 
The idea is not to give players a reason to torture themselves over it. Yeah, no. It's like, well, we were talking about the 900 Koroks earlier, and I don't think people liked that. So, um, we're doing it for our own goals and no other reason. Excuse me. And, uh, it's just for fun. I'm loving it, just been playing through Super myself. Time for sleep, 2 a.m. here. Oh, Drufus, have a good sleep. Get some good rest. I hope you're liking Super, and we will see you around. Thanks for coming in today. Blasphemous is supposed to be as scary after beating most Metroidvania. I'm down to last few options. That sounds daunting. I wish you luck, Eblob. Sounds too scary for Jen. If you're having fun, there's no reason not to fill in the map. I agree. That's a, uh, a big enemy up there. This was not open to us before. Oh, I remember this room. Look at all this stuff we never did. Why did we not do that? Because we were busy. We were doing things. We were running away from Emmys. There's an item in here. Been thinking about giving Blasphemous a go? Imagine if there was an actual reward for 100% map and you're missing one sub-pixel. Oh no. Yeah, too much. I love the Koroks, but when I saw that I dreaded what would happen for anyone compelled to find all of them. Yes been thinking of giving oh yeah i saw that sultan sanctuary went back a few months ago and was surprised how much i loved it i've heard of sultan sanctuary too the power bomb effect is so cool continues to be the coolest power bomb thus far. I think it was Fusion that is the one that has like the little countdown timer with it and it beeps before it goes off. That's my second favorite power bomb effect. How do you do this? Not from this side, from this side, I think. Unless. No. Weird. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Beat Salt and Sanctuary with a friend last week was super fun, even though some of the co-op limitations suck. Gotcha. Actually bought Blasphemous a year ago, still haven't touched it. What if I told you there are half pixels? We've been seeing the triangles. No, I noticed, N dude. I'm trying to get the triangles too, but it's tough. It's a brutal game if you're trying to do the map. <laughs> no one should. I do not recommend. Live the map completion vicariously through me. Do not attempt at home. <laughs> Here, let's put a map marker. Just cause. I'm feeling the purple one at the moment. Why didn't I get these? Where does this go? Oh, I remember this. This was terrible. Can you, okay, you know what we have not done yet because of course I forgot that you can do it because I get in the mindset of shine sparking. Can you, is this a safe word question? No, this is not a safe word question because I can easily science it out. Can you sh shift while charging a shine spark? Can you flash shift in shine spark mode? I need to I need to experiment and figure this out. Game changer, but it's gonna be such a pain in the butt.
Where are we going now? This was our one lead, our one singular flashy room. Maybe up here? I don't think I can bomb through that from here. Yes, I can. We can also power bomb while charged, maybe. I wonder if that's something I need to use, is dropping power bombs at strategic moments. Oh, <laughs> thank you, mods. It's okay, Yonk. Thanks for catching it. I didn't see it. But yeah, I, I will quickly try to science it out, because I know that's an easy one to answer. I'm just um, curious. Oh, I remember this room. Okay. We got this missile. Mm-hmm. Yes. For science. But we just scanned. And there's nothing over here, even though it looks like there should be. Okay. And there's nothing here. It looks like there should be something there, but I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna try. Because I want to come back up this way briefly. Oh no. There we go. Oh, come on. Gotta run, but I'm definitely gonna watch this VOD to see how you approach the two spots you've identified. Thanks, Taylor. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Can't wait to see you beat this! Oh, I'm excited. I've heard the final boss is really, really hard, but I'm excited to give it my best. Honestly, I know it's gonna be hard, but I think the way Z57 went, I think we'll be okay. We'll figure it out. We'll do our thing. And, um, you know. I've gotten through Radiance. We can do this. <laughs> Why does this exist? I feel like there it exists for a reason. Look at this. See, there's a triangle right there. Also, what's all of this? Huh? No. No. Game's final boss is nothing compared to Nasteroid. Oh my gosh. It's all fun. You're gonna do it. Thank you. Boiling hot magma? No problem. Yeah. I know of a super easy and hard way to do that one. It felt like both aren't the intentional way. Nice. Oh man. The moment when scan when pulse scan doesn't reveal anything and you get real sad. No, I pressed the button, but I was out of juice. I'm still out of juice. We scanned in here so many times. Why does this room exist? Why does it look like there's so much map under here? Oh, we spent- oh god, the last stream- was it last stream? We spent so much time in this dang room. What does it all mean? I have to see how Z57 went. I know that one took me a bit, but next time I want to try certain things I, uh, I tried but mi missed with. 
I liked that fight a lot. I enjoyed that fight. It was really fun. I'm one of those people who, like, Radiance is my favorite fight of Hollow Knight because it's just so satisfying and there's so much stuff to dodge and it's like... It feels like a little... It feels like DDR. I think that's it. Quick reaction time. Do this, then do this, then followed by this, then do this other thing. It's so satisfying the way it goes down and when you get it right. That's how I felt about Z57 too. This room sucks. Why does this room exist? They want you to... You can't do a power bomb, right? Because it'll break these. We answered earlier, but dark blue may not mean secret. We- somebody said... The edge it means what you think it means. Like this, the fact that there's an edge here, there's not any secrets over here. That's what we were ruling out earlier. As far as the blue, it may mean there's more map in here. It may not. It doesn't, it doesn't guarantee that there's a room down here. It just looks suspicious. That's why I'm pointing it out. If you like boss battles like this, you got to play Wings of V can be insanely frustrating. I feel like Z57 is a good example of how bosses are in this game, including the deaths it took to get there. Yeah, you blob. I don't, I mean, if there's nothing in this corner, that's fine. It just looks like, oh wow, what's all this empty space for? But I don't know. I do not understand how to get this item. Oh, but I do need to science out um, power bombs. Let's do that. And flash shift. You can flash if well charge. I feel like that's important, right? Probably. And then... Oh god. Well, you have to charge it. Okay, hang on. This is a good practice room for Jen. It would help if I would press the right buttons. Why would you... release one of those? Why would you take all that time to charge a power bomb while you're charged, though? Hmm... So is there a reason for us to come from this direction? I don't think so. Look at this stupid little triangle. Got it. The only- the new thing we have is now... Cross bombs, but I don't feel like that helps us that much. I think the thing that helps us more is knowing that we can flash shift while a shine spark is charged. Who was it last time when I spent ages in this room that was like, oh no, I'm getting anxiety from, like, hearing the item room back and forth and back and forth again. You run out of- you run out of steam by the time you get through these dang bombs. Oh, 
there's no way that that's what you need there. I wish it was, but... My friend swore up and down I should 100% this game that the Shine Spark puzzles were a blast and I'm glad to be watching someone else suffer with them. <laughs> nice lord. I feel like there's a technique... One. One. Maybe not for this room, but in general there's a technique that I don't know yet that some people have had to look up. Two. There's so many new abilities in this game compared to other Shine Spark puzzles that I just feel unequipped. I feel like I don't... I'm not processing all the combinations of what is possible. And it, it keeps leading me to this room and I get here and I'm like, I don't know what the heck to do here. <sighs> it's like that one room in Axiom Verge that I couldn't get until off stream. I feel like some of these I'm just going to leave behind for now. Let's go back here and do all this. Look how promising this is. The Shine Spark puzzles in this game are wild. It was a good kind of frustrating. Did you look any of them up? Did you have to look up any techniques then, dude? Not like deliberate answers, but things you didn't realize you were able to do. You can answer that. I guess that's a safe word question, although it's not pertaining to me in my playthrough. I was too stubborn to look it up. Okay. That's promising then. Because the thing that, that gets me is the fact that Respark exists, and I had to look that one up to understand it. Not how to do it, but I just had to see someone else do it to know that it was even possible. But we'll play around with it. Oh, I don't think I ever noticed this block. Okay. What does Respark refer to? It's the Shine Spark uh, thing from like Zero Mission and Fusion, where you can you can chain multiple Shine Sparks together on a slope. Zandy, how's it going? Welcome in. Did pretty much everything without a guide, but with videos, I found out there were way simpler ways. That's cool. A couple of techniques I didn't realize immediately till I saw someone else. Gotcha. Respark is when you shine spark into a slope and then you come out of it with speed booster again. So it extends the distance you can carry a shine spark or a speed boost to other rooms. You have to use like a slanted area to walk on. And zero mission, there's that one room where you have to sprint charge your shine, jump, screw attack, or no, what is it? Space jump up to the next platform, shine spark to the right into a slope, immediately recharge, jump to the next platform, shine spark into the slope, immediately recharge, that thing, that's respark. I figured that out and thought you can do that, that changes everything, right? I wish that they had an animal to show you what it was. But yeah, I need a quick um, chapstick break too. It was such a cool puzzle, Zero. I loved it, but it took me a bajillion tries. But it was like very satisfying tries because you knew each try, you're like, okay, I was this much off here. Okay, next time I'm going to do this differently here. And eventually I got it and I celebrated and and all was right in the world. I don't know. <laughs> oh, how do we get down here? From there. We can't? <gasps> Wait, was I supposed to go this way instead? Maybe? Yeah. It's too pro even for decoras, maybe. Oh, I got distracted because that one bombable thing.
we can save, sure, why not? It's your first Metroid experience, nice. Well, welcome in. We've played a lot of Metroids on this channel. And I'm still not done with all of them. Uh, but they're some of my favorite games. Definitely one of my favorite genres. Oh, I want this. I want to go up here. Now we can go to the right. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the mini map. Uh, we don't want to go that way, so I'll leave those squares in case I go back into that corner later. Zero Mission gave me an appreciation for speed boost potential. Fusion had a couple fun ones. Fusion was good. Zero Mission, I used a guide to get everything. Fusion, I did not use a guide. A couple of times, uh, we streamed it to the Discord for my 100%. And sometimes I had to ask chat for like a hot and cold instruction. Am I getting closer? Am I getting further away? And that helped. And I really liked, I really liked fusion item hunting. Zero mission was a little more aggravating, but we got there. How many zeros does a bajillion have? Good question. A bajillion zeros. <laughs> this one hack I played on YouTube, Super Metroid Redesign. Added the respark into Super and Fall Spark. That's really cool. I like that Angel Lord. A bajillion minus one. <laughs> what if you're getting colder because you're too close to a lava room? Yes. That sometimes happens. I will not... I shouldn't say never, but I don't plan on ever... Um, 100%ing Metroid 2. What the heck? Or Prime 1. Oh, we were talking, I think we were talking about Prime 3, Prime 2. When, uh, when friends came in for a raid, but I'm still deciding if I want to play those. I do, I just don't know if I'll stream them. It's complicated. Why does this exist? Oh! Oh, that was close. Yeah! We got up here, but now what do I do? Collect the X parasite from other enemies nearby. What is this nonsense? This one looks ghastly because it is. <sighs> All right, bye. It was silly, I can tell it's silly, yeah. No, I don't know. I'm sure it's cool once you figure it out, but it seems silly. Here, let's let's clear this room to cheer me up. Playing the Dread minigame. And clearing squares. I use soundtrack comment. As motivation during stream and made my first Metroid cover, Fendrana Drifts. Nice! Also one of my favorite puzzles here. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. Does not compute for now. Fendrana Drifts is an amazing track. Um, are you in the Discord, Yonk? I think the thing that threw me off on this is the amount of time that you can hold the Shine Spark before it fades since it was so strict in ZM. Yeah, the Shine Spark in this is, is you can hold it for longer. I'm not a master of it yet, of like knowing when it expires. Jerusalem, hi, it's good to see you. Welcome in. 
I'm not, but I would love to post. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to post it to the Discord, I would love to listen to it. Thank you. Um, let me check Discord really quick, too, so I can do... Okay, cool. <laughs> Get people their permissions in Discord if they don't have them already. It lasts for like five Mississippi. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't think I want to know exactly technically how long it lasts because I can science it out. But it seems like a long time. Oh no, don't close behind me. I almost ruined everything. Why did I never go through this door? This looks like a ball spark hallway then. Oh. But why? Because you're supposed to jump up into this and then whoop and then whoop. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure, Dread. No, I didn't charge. How are you supposed to know that you can do that? That's really cool, though. So when there's a chain of shine sparks in this game, because I feel like this is different from other games, if you hit one, it does a chain reaction with all of them. That's not how the other ones have been. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Once we found that hallway and that little notch, I was like, all right, I know what to do here. Spin dash, yeah. And now we know that those ramps channel your ball spark energy up into different directions. I don't know how I would have ever known that. Science, science is powerful. We love science. Here on this channel, we love science. Okay, so is that the only reason that hallway exists? No, it goes through here. But we want to go to this other hallway. All of these. We want to go to all of these. Just in time for science lesson. Hey, uh... Infa? Oh, infected. <laughs> it took me a second. Welcome. Welcome into the stream. You end up doing Prime 2 non-streaming. I'd love to ask things after. Yeah, of course, Zero. I will post... If I play any of these Metroid games off-stream, I will post them to the Discord. I'll probably Discord stream some of them, but... uh we're, we're on, I think the rest of Metroid besides Nestroid is like 2022 schedule right now, so we will come back to it. We'll circle back. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting fellow human. You don't happen to be Drusa from Metroid Redesign. Somebody from the team in our midst? I don't think I knew that. Drusa. Um, I don't know that I ever moved this. Oh. We don't talk about redesign. My pleasure and also love Metroid, so I'll enjoy my stay here. Perfect. You're in the right, you're in the right place. We love Metroid. We love Metroidvanias. We are going to be playing Axiom Verge 2 after we finish Nestroid. Oh, uh, sorry. After we stream Nestroid. I don't know that we're gonna finish it. Um, and that's right after Dread, so. Okay, the point of coming down here was so that I could explore all the hallways that opened up from this big main room. Now that we've done that, I kinda wanna go down to this corner. Oops. 
We stayed in more for far too long. Oh, we already revisited this room earlier, but I, I remember saying, oh no, I don't care about map squares, and then we ended up coming back anyways. Doesn't this look like there should be stuff here too? No. Okay. What's next, or is it a secret? Is it something I could use a command to find out? No, Lord, you're good. That's totally fine to ask. Most of the the games that we're gonna be playing next are in the um like about me panels below the video player. It's in the section called content, and that tells you what we're doing next. I don't have a command for it though. I could. That's a good. That's a good idea. But we're gonna be playing at least one day of Nestroid. And then we're going to be playing Axiom Verge 2, and then we're finally starting Castlevania. Um, Subnautica is going to be a weekend thing, I believe, is the plan. We're at 93% of Arteria. Is there one that we walked right by when we came in? Yeah. This dang room. Is that the last one? I wasn't paying attention. No, we were at 89%, right? Hmm. Hmm. I made a hack years ago, which kind of kick-started the whole hacking community for Super Metroid. It was hard and badly designed, so I hate that version but prefer a revised, more accessible version I call Axial Edition after LP or who streamed it on the old Something Awful forums. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Drusif. I did not know that about you. Heck yeah, we've talked about Super Metroid, Redux. Oh gosh, Redux redesign. That's the same thing? We've talked about redesign before, anyway, and um, adding some of the cool stuff from later games back into Super, because Super is wonderful and deserves all the love and, and, and makeovers. Went from windy to pouring, this is cozy. Actually, I think the rain here stopped. It was raining all day. Yeah. Redux is different, okay, yeah. We've talked about both, but um, I always forget if Redux is like a shortened version of redesign. There's an item over here. We can get this. Oh no, not if I do this. No! All right, whatever. Saved it. That's a long way down with not a way back. Unless you go here, here, and here. That's not that bad. But, Nope, I thought I hit the stupid flash shift button. Nice. Redesign Axial Edition is all mine. Very cool. Original redesign was the first hack I ever played and also enjoyed a lot, even if you prefer the newer version that I never heard of until now. Grapple came in handy! Yes it did. Yes, yes it did, but I kept falling down into the pit. 96%. So then, okay. That's gotta be the last item for Arteria, right? So many map squares, but the items are basically done. Safe word, is this the last item in Arteria? Woo, woo, woo. Not sure I can link here. I can give you a link permit, or one of the mods can. I'm just chilling, so I will go ahead and do it. If you would like. No pressure. Let's find a save room. We did... 
Oh wait, hang on. Let's find a save room, Jen says, as she continues to fill in squares. Let's do this right here, because it's missing, and then let's save here. That's my plan. I'll try to stick to it. Nope, go up here. I don't think we ever came through here before. I don't know why not. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, Trav. I appreciate it. You remember each item's percentage rate in this area? Fair. Because it's different. I was hesitating trying to remember if it was permit or link permit. Oh, good point. Yeah. It's permit. If that ever comes up again in the near future. I want to see Ravenbeak guy crawling through the tunnels. Oh, thank you, Drusif. Let me get this open in another tab so I don't lose it. Um, I'll put it in the Discord, too, if it's not in there already. Oops. Game capture. Please behave. There we go. They make everything so winding and convoluted when you're looking at it from a map completion standpoint, which is not how it's meant to be looked at, but I can't help but be like, dang, they make this the most complicated thing ever if someone were to make this their arbitrary goal. Jen, why do you do the things that you do? I'll never know. Let go of the wall. Let go of the wall. Let go. We just want to go to the top of this room now. Uh, it was fun watching and awesome to meet the one and only Drusif, but really need to sleep. Have a good sleep, Angel Lord. Thanks for hanging with us. We will see you around. Like I said, for anybody um, who's wanting to know the schedule. I need to figure out when the next Dread stream is, potentially our finale stream. I think it's probably gonna be next Friday. I think we're gonna take a small break before we finish up the game. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you around. Maybe more Ball and Thoa, but I, I don't know if they shared all their tech. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. oh, we're right here. Perfect. Oh, that was excellent. Lots of map traversing. So many squares. So many chats. I think we're gonna get ready to wrap up. Um, as I was doing like a announcement about future streams, anyways. But we did ninety six percent of Arteria. Eighty five percent of Dairon. 100% of Gavrin, yay. And then everything else is somewhere between 14% and 66%. So, not bad. I don't know that we'll do another stream exactly like this. Uh, maybe for the Discord, like, we'll beat the- we'll try to beat the game next stream if we can. And then, um... We'll try to 100% the game in Discord if we can. So many map squares. Yeah. Hey, Hunk. Welcome back. Item collection's very good. I'm happy with what we did today. I had a lot of fun. This is super chill as planned. Cute as everyone. Thanks for chatting with me while we explore the map and get items. 